Well, good morning, everybody. It's Guido coming at you with a coffee talk from the left side of the Atlantic. And it's Pilgrim from the correct side of the Atlantic with this week's latest offer from the Guido merch. Here you are, the Guido mug with its cup of tea comes with three to the first ten purchases of the Guido mug, a Guido t-shirt. <laughs> Get one today. Look at that. In any colour you like, pink to green, no problem at all. It comes free with a mug. I don't I think I today. set it I don't think I set it up for pink. Did you not? I should do. I should have actually. I should have. I should have. Good morning, everybody. Uh, Wayne's here. Poor old sod. Stickler, Gator, Odd Dog, O'Brut Boss. Wow, look at this. Heisenberg. What's happening? We're Heisenberg. All out to bed Good morning. Yeah, man. I, did everybody have trouble sleeping today or what's going on? Good morning, Mel Deeth. Hello, hello. Yes, it is noon for Pilgrim. Absolutely. Good morning, everyone. So we got a few things to talk about. Uh, some of them might be tanks. Possibly. They might be, yeah. Maybe. Channel news, what do we got going on? Still trying to still trying to grind out that 279E mission. Hasn't happened yet. I actually haven't tried it this week because we've been busy with other stuff. Things like Daisy, things like uh, the fart of <laughs> the fart of strategy, which we will talk about today for sure. Uh, I did finish the KPZ fifty T hundred battle challenge though. Kedge, thanks for the resub. Much appreciated. Uh, finished KPZ. Here's the thing about the KPZ, man. Um, I wasn't very good at it. Why? I was actually kind of good at it, but I wasn't overall very good at it. And that's actually apropos because we're going to talk about what's a good tank later on. Okay. But, but let yeah, me just, that'll be useful. Yeah, let me just jump over here, and we're going to real quickly, we'll, we'll, we'll actually talk a tank thing. Before we launch off into some tangent. Tangent, yeah, let's do that. Here's the KPZ, folks. You will notice there are no marks on the barrel. I have 100 battles. You might say, well, geez, Guido, maybe you're close. Well, you would be incorrect. I am at 51.83% in 100 battles, averaging 1,000 no yeah, averaging a thousand experience. And, and not a blistering, amazing DPG, but not bad. 23, 24. Happens to be at the high end of my tier 9 mediums. Right, okay. Uh, you know, 2.49 destruction, 1.68 damage ratio, 78% hit rate. I'm surviving 43%. I'm winning, you know, winning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But, wow. That's 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 incredible, <clears throat> given that, the, you know, the tank is is considered to be OP, isn't it? Played by good players, though, right? Yeah, there is that. Yeah, there is that. Played yeah. played by good players. Um, crazy, and it's a good, it's a pretty dang good tank. I really enjoyed it. So I got it to hundred. You will, I won't go back there, but you'll notice I still have my purple pinkish equipment on it. I'm gonna on this tank. I'm gonna leave that stuff on because this is a tank I will go back to. I just, I just actually enjoyed playing this one. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, there is that, isn't it? If it's, if it's a tank that you enjoy. It's a, you know where, how you perform in it really is 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 second is second to actually enjoy playing the game because yeah, that's I'm with you. You know what I mean? You can yeah. get in a tank and have a horrible game. We're going to deep dive into that later for sure. We're going to yeah, deep dive yeah, into yeah, that later. Cool. Uh, yeah, not enough people to bring the numbers down there, Cliffy. <laughs> Sorry, you get more people in there. I, I don't even want to know what the three mark requirements are on that thing. Holy cow! All right, so that's um, that's what I'm doing. Uh, we will I will be messing around a little more with the fart of strategy uh, because I do want the 2500 bonds. We will talk about that though because unfortunately I wish we were doing this just as it started and I had a better idea of how the point system worked because if you weren't playing for the last few days since it came out, you had a really good opportunity the last like five days to crank out some points easily. Yeah. I'm going to talk yeah. about it because there's still time for you to save four points easily. Yeah. Even if you hate the mode, it doesn't matter. I'm going to I'm going to tell you how to do it, uh, and so you <laughs> okay. can and hopefully you can continue to do so with a little more effort later. Because unfortunately, on the 26th, it's not free anymore. You have to get you have to play other crap to play that crap. So I'll get to that. But I really wish I'd have known this before. But I'll tell you what it is today. Um. I think that's it, man. You got any channel news? How's your Daisy going? 
without getting into too many details, are you dominating? My, you know, my daisy is fine. It's your daisy is pitiful, but my daisy is <laughs> I have frostbite. How did I get... <laughs> We, we're working that one out. We're going to kill. Ah, my friend, my my friend came to help me out and didn't even bring gloves. I did. I just forgot to give them to you. <laughs> <laughs> we were running around like daft buggers. I was going, oh shit, my gloves. I've got gloves for him here. Uh, we're, we're gonna, we'll, we'll get you killed off and started over. So we'll talk know. about how that happened because it's pretty funny. As I'm discussing, hey, this little this little thing on the bottom right, it never goes above this. Oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Next stream, guys. No, I was giving you all sorts of medicine. Crazy, anyway. <laughs> oh, I mean, I I had more kit than I ever deserved to have, and I should have been running around with a sharp stick, but I had so much. Yeah. Idea. I had so much stuff, and I had no idea how to use any of it. But we'll get to that. Um, okay. Okay. Next stream is Monday, guys. Tomorrow. That's tomorrow. So I will. I will be streaming tomorrow. Uh, Pilgrim, hopefully, will join us. We might even do a little Daisy at the end to goof around. Uh, coaching is available as always. What's that? No, no, I was just going to say you can watch you kill yourself on stream. <laughs> what we need to do is we need to just start up on some rando and just goof yeah, around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we can around. start back up on we can start back up on the uh, on the G uh, GON because I was going to talk to you later, but we're actually dropping out of that from that because we've done everything on that map now. There's nothing we can do, so we can go back into that map but respawn. We can both like commit Harry carry and then respawn together and then run around like silly buggers without kit. Okay. <laughs> anyway, that's for later on. Cool, cool. Uh, Guido grind. That's my code. It'll get you something. Oh, get you yeah, a ram. I wish too. you would change that. <laughs> Artillery <laughs> bugs. Good morning. Good morning. That's it for channel news. Cool. So subjects do. Oh, sorry, missions. Missions. Oh my gosh. Oh, we. Yeah. Somebody was saying. I think he's right. We're gonna need more lights for today. So if you've got a blue light, fire it off. We have. We have. Fire off but your blue is. light. Because right, holy cow, there's a lot of garbage for sale. <clears throat> stuff again. stuff for sale where is it where is it here we go boom all right gotta move stuff around move stuff around let's go into the premium shop what do we got premium shop what do we got made a rhyme lance and c that is commander af's code and the code is i would just type it in yeah, Commander's Choice, but it's not spelled out. So Pilgrim will type it in. Commander, we'll give you a Lance and C three-day rental. That means you can also buy it. Unfortunately, it's it's a package, so you're getting three, 30 days of premium, 2,500 gold, a million credits, and the tank for 51 bucks. I, it's unfortunate, but that's the way it is. Yeah. The Centurion 5.1 is for sale. You can get a couple different packages of it. They did the old split thing here on this one. I don't really know why, but just the tank is 31 bucks. If you go down here, there's packages if you like that. Then we've got the 703 version 2 for sale. I think you can get just the tank. Looks like you can right here. Nope, it's got a 3D style, so you're going to have to pay for the 3D style. That's the cheapest that thing gets right now. Uh, the prices are just crazy money. Yeah. I mean, well, again, I call it crazy money. Some people might want to pay that. It's up to them. I like the five one two, Wayne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a solid tank. That's yeah. That's one of my go tos in when I when I do play uh, frontline. Just because yeah. its pen is so good and its mobility is decent, it's got a good turret. It just overall is a pretty good, darn good uh, yeah. frontline tank. Yeah. Sturv eighty one is similar. Kind of the same tank, really, at the end of the day. But I think the gun's a little different on that one. I don't know. Does the 5.1 have a better gun? I think it does. Don't know. The 1357 is out there, and then the Skirta T56. In several versions here, you can get just the tank. I think that's this one here for 47. There is the yeah. 2D style, but these are packages with gold and days and stuff. Now, this one here, Danger Danger... This is a rental, so don't don't get fooled here. Make sure you're paying attention. You see that little timer thing? That's the only real indication of it. It does say rental, I think. Yeah, T56 rental for 14 days. It's 17 bucks, but it also comes with a mission. Each of the 14 days, you can you can make 250 gold. I think that's 3,500 gold, and that's about 11 bucks. So it, you're still paying six bucks for the rental. But you will get some of your stuff back in gold. I mean, I don't know. I don't know why anyone would do that, but I suppose 
Like, why would you pay six bucks, six or seven bucks, to see if you like a tank? I'm going to tell you something, folks. You're going to like this tank. <laughs> well, yeah, if you don't, Cause, you're not playing it. Because it's... You're not playing it's, the game. Yeah, it's well OP, right? Yeah. It's well OP. So, this... I don't know. I like the idea of this, but it doesn't seem like something that... Uh... Oh, by the way, Wayne, those commands have been put in. A good number of the commands you guys came up with. So, if you want to try those, uh, those should work. Speaking of, of buy, buy high, sell low. Oh, we got some pilgrim ones apparently, haven't we? There's a couple in there. There's a couple in there. Um, all right, so that's that's that stuff. Now these have just showed up. They're called prosperity. <laughs> I've just read that. I've just read that. That is awesome. <laughs> awesome. I love that. I'm gonna have that as my moniker on a T-shirt. <laughs> I, I I need to change that. Out from the mists of Hobbiton comes a lone pilgrim, or one. Yeah, that'd be cool. Or yeah. one, or one pilgrim of many. It has to be. Maybe it has to be something like that. Yeah, the first pilgrim of many. <laughs> the first pilgrim of many. That actually fits because they kind of were pilgrims. Yeah, they were, weren't they? They, they well, Bilbo Baggins was a bit of a pilgrim, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, they were they were on a journey, right? They were on a they pilgrimage were. to do they something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were on a pilgrimage. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. These are big packages. They're uh, pilgrim. I mean, come on. $186. That's a lot of money, isn't it? 20,000 gold, which isn't... That's only... Is that $80 of gold? How... That's in. Wait, hold on. It was twenty thousand gold, right? Yeah. Yeah, eighty dollars of gold. Yeah. So I didn't realize how bad those were. Those are atrociously bad deals. Please yeah. stay away from those. Is that all that's there? Is holy cow! It's bad, that it. You're spending a hundred dollars for twenty million credits, and those and seventy five of those times fives. That is madness. That is an awful lot of money, Cliffy. <laughs> I think Cliffy might be onto something there. We gave two thirds of our business away, sale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now marketing, marketing sitting around the table, going, "All right, now what do we do about this?" Like, well, let's try to squeeze the whales. Yeah, yeah, let's squeeze the North American Nor server because they're yeah. rich. North Americans will buy this thing. <laughs> now, that being said, do they sell them? They keep putting them up there. I don't know. Yeah, right? They must do. They I mean, do, I, I don't know if any... I mean, and, and not to... I'm just having a, having a laugh, having a go. Obviously, if somebody wants to buy that, that's their money. Go for it. Like if if that money makes your your gaming easier, Mel D, thank you for the sub, much appreciated. If that if that makes your gaming easier, and and this is your hobby, and that's what you want to do, then whatever. I'm just saying you can do other than the gold, you can do the rest of that in the game. Yeah, exactly that. Right, yeah, exactly you can get the credits playing, which is yeah. I assume why we're playing is to play, yeah. <laughs> and you can yeah. eventually get mm -hmm. your experience. That'll make it faster, absolutely. Yeah, but you can do that yeah. anyway. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. I think for my for my money, if I was looking at that and said, "Well, I want to do this," I would do the twenty million credits and the, and the experience by playing the game, and I'd spend eighty dollars to get my twenty thousand gold and use a coupon, oh, I or, think use so. a coupon I think, or something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Exactly that. I would put the money into gold if that's where I where I'm at with it all. I wouldn't I wouldn't put it into a package like that. That is just crazy. I yeah. think it was Kedge that gifted the um, sub to Mel D. Oh, uh, Maldif, your tea oh. will be with you on the 27th, by the way. Oh, you sent it. Nice. Yeah, it went DHL, and they've just, they have just they sent me the tracking details. So yeah. it's over in the States somewhere, winging its way to him now. Nice mint tea. No, oh, not bloody mint tea, you Philistine, you. <laughs> Philistine. Yeah, all right. So, yeah, prosperity. Uh, I don't know. I, don't, I feel like you're going to have a lack of prosperity if you go with those. It could be a pilgrim deal. Uh, Mel D says pilgrim. it arrived. 
Oh, is it arrived? Yeah. Wow, happy days. Cliffy, Ooh. if you could sell those times fives. Yeah, that'd you, be different. You'd have a couple it? hundy right there, my friend. Oh, yeah. You couple could buy yourself hundy. a Skoda. <laughs> All right, so the gold sale, blah, blah, blah. The, this board chest thing is still around. We don't worry about premium accounts. Let's go over to vehicles. I think it's the same stuff, my friends. Same. Make sure you buy them, though, because I always get a kickback on these. You know how that works. Oh, is. yeah, especially the packages. Buy the packages. Uh, IS2M still there. The skirt of the 50 TP and the standard stuff. So nothing new, really, to go over there. I think specials are pretty much the same stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nothing else really there. A starter bundle. All right, cool. So, after all of that, what else is going on missions wise? We have crew is crucial. In case this it's escaped you, it's time to do your crew specs, training, retraining, or skill reset at 50% off. This is a good, these are good. And then they always have missions where you get a lot of extra crew experience. And I would say these days, crew experience is probably where it's at. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I, need a, I do need a command for coffee talk. That's not bad. Hold on, let me write that down. And you need one for tea, not tea talk, just for tea. Uh, I think I have one for tea time. I don't know if I, I, don't oh, know I, if I did that or not. Resets are gold only, no silver option. Yes. What? Gold only, no silver. What are you talking about there? Specialization change, crew training, retraining, barracks. Oh, he's talking about the spec change, this thing? Yeah. Right. Oh, I didn't put it in, Wayne. All right. I think I have Chufter in there, though. Chufter. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Oh, the crew, the free XP to crew XP conversion. Right. Oh. Tea bag. I am not putting tea bag in there. No, <laughs> that is, do I not, put not tea putting in tea bag in there. No, 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 you sir. You will die a horrible death. I'm no, telling sir. you now. If you put tea bag no, in there. No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> That's not happening. All right. What else we got? Right. Um, we got Commander's Choice. We did that. That's the Lance and Sea. It's a crew is crucial. Let's run over to really quickly to the mission tab here. Couple things to look at in here actually this week. I'm almost done with the uh, battle pass. Uh, right. But I okay. did well, buy the ten dollar. I did buy the ten dollar thing. Oh, did it? Okay, yeah. right. well, fair enough. But... So I'd be twenty away actually. Yeah, but that's average. But, uh, if you look at um, if you look at oh, hang on, uh, <clears throat> two line push. There's a calculator for it, and um, the average is 19 as opposed to 20. 19 <laughs> Excuse what? Excuse me. Um, nine, level 19, I think it is. Oh, across the server? Across the server, yeah. yeah. 19 on the third? Yeah, on the third chapter. Oh, wow. Interesting. If you, if you go to, if you go to two line push, <clears throat> I'll, I'll go there now and I'll just confirm what I'm saying. Well, I guess if you divide, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it says uh, Battle Pass 7 calculator, and you go on the... Oh, sorry, stage 91, sorry. It was 19, but back to front. Okay, so 91 <laughs> would be you're still in the second chapter. Second one, second yeah, that's chapter. the average for the server. Um, you can't buy it, Kedge, right now. Sorry, Pilgrim, you can't buy it right now. No, they, actually, they actually got rid of that. There's, you can't buy the, the $10 package that ended, I don't know, a week ago or so. I think precisely yeah. because of the fourth chapter, they didn't want people buying through it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's exactly why they did it, now that I yeah. think about it. Yeah. Because you have to finish the three to do the fourth one. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if it was still available when that chapter started, people would just buy... A bunch right, of all levels. The way to the, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Because it's, I mean, say you got really close to the end, and then you bought it, it would finish up what you had, and then go into that. So uh, they just yeah. they just canks that whole idea. Yeah. And and uh, doesn't help you. So like, if you finished it earlier and then tried to buy it, you're not going to get anything extra out of it. No. Although I think extra levels give you something, don't they? If you finish no, it, they only, it, well, they only give you the the, the end result, don't they? You know, 
you don't you don't get any benefits. Yeah, the the battle pass points need to be spent. I think before battle pass ends. The but that's not until that's not until like November or something, is it? No, I think per chapter or whatever. Oh, is it? We'll oh, dig into it a little bit. The 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 coins stay. The coins do not yeah, go yeah. away. Yeah, but the points have got to go before the end of the chapter. You keep getting the points, okay? All right. Uh, we can we'll di we'll dig points. into that stickler. We'll take a look at that. Yeah. Um, all right. So, art of strategy is in here. This is uh, while playing the game. Art of strategy. We're going to cover this a little more in depth, but the point here is that you do have to play it to get these things, and I'll, I'll get to that later. Battle Pass, I finished. On track, the 124. This is Commander AF's thing, which is giving you some cinnamon buns and some flowers. A Watt Salute, Community Hunting, and then we've got down here, Crew is Crucial. So these are the things for Crew is Crucial, just getting some little doodads, standard kind of stuff. And then some good bonuses. And I don't... Anyone know what this is? I, I've lost track of this coupon challenge thing. Oh, I didn't even know that was there. <laughs> I didn't even... I wasn't even looking at it. I don't know what it is, but it's for getting like ace tankers in first class and... Whatever. Oh, is it? Oh, right. I, okay. Well, that counts I me I out. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's... A, okay, I see. It's in the... It's in the... All right. Now I'm tracking. It's for the vehicle that is her current vehicle. So you'll see the Lance and see is there. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, so you can get yeah. coupons, oh, which yeah. I don't know what those do. Do they reduce reduce the price, maybe? I actually don't know no, what those do. No, that'd be interesting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have no That's idea. That's such a stretch. Ace her rental. That is such a stretch. I wouldn't be acing any rental. <laughs> so I don't know. That's interesting. Okay. Let's, uh, let's move on to... Are we already to subjects du jour? That was very quick. It feels quick, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's, should we jump into fart of strat? Actually, let's answer. Let's try to answer that battle pass let's question answer first. Answer some of the battle pass questions, yeah, because I'm intrigued now whether the, I should keep the points going or get rid of them all. And I think you need to use I'm just these. logging into the game now. See, I can't. The problem is I don't have access to them right now. How to receive. Okay, here it is. Items for points will be available until November thirtieth, twenty twenty two. All points remaining That's by the time of the store. Okay, so all right, they do. Yeah. They do hold on. All right, I was wrong. I thought they did. I thought yep. they did. Yep. Uh, that's what I was. Uh, that's what I read. So there you go, fellas. November thirtieth. November thirtieth. Also, the coins will stay. So don't you don't lose any of that stuff. You don't lose coins yeah. or points. Um. So that 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 begs the old question with wargaming and these points and things. Right now, absolute. Thanks for the follow, man. Welcome. If I say man and you're, you're female, I apologize. Everyone's man. Um, Wargaming sometimes adds stuff later. Yes. Yeah. That, that has happened in the past. That would be my yeah. only real worry. Yeah. So I, my, the, I guess my answer to you about what should I buy... I don't know. If you like 3D styles, you'll be able to grab some of the older ones. So there's one thing you can use points on. Crew members, you can get the crew members you may have missed, which are pretty good crew yeah. members. Yeah. I think this is probably the biggest one, but I think there's only one of these available per account. And I don't know if they reset each time. Because I have... Uh, you know okay. what I mean? All right. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. now, I can buy all three of these That's sets. I have enough points to buy all three of these sets and have some left over. At which point, I don't have any crew members to buy because I have all of them. Mm. And I don't have any 3D styles to buy because I have all of them. So that's... Yeah, it's the same. I, I'm the same. I've got all the crew and the 3D styles. So I was going to do bonds. But if they, if the true to war game, they throw something in at the end. Yeah, I... I have no essay that that's that's like on the table, guys. So don't say, "Oh, Guido said," or he's given us a hint. That, that's that is not the case. Um, I don't. I'm gonna have more points than I need here, so I'm not sure, you know, what's going on with that. Right. And I guess I finished it, so not everyone finishes it. So I guess they don't. A lot of times they don't build these things for power users like most of us or, or me. Yeah, yeah. Who yeah. who always top everything out at you know? 
Yeah. If you look at it and go, oh, how come it was set up this way for a top end user? This isn't good. Well, that's I'm the low percentage person. The, the most people are further down, so they're they're going to actually make choices about what they want to get. Yeah, yeah. Because you get to a point, and you think, well, I'm not going to get to the end of this, so I need to make a decision now yeah. on what I'm going to do with it. So. And then yeah. of course we got uh, items for tokens, which has the tanks. Uh, oh, what the heck? We've lost. Oh wow, that was weird. Oh, look at that! Look at that bug. <laughs> oh, there it goes. It caught up. <laughs> Everything's moving through. Is it going to catch up? <laughs> oh, is it still scrolling? It is. Yeah, it? yeah. The, the one part's moving, and the other part stops moving. Look at that. That stinks. Yeah. Shoot. <laughs> All right. So there's, we're covered up a little bit, but you can get 100 bonds for a coin. Uh, you can get a plus 50%, I think it is, economic reserve for a coin. You got, of course, the bounty equipment. That's a new thing. Buying the bounty equipment with coins. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Ma'am is your yeah. mom. All right. Right on, yeah. man. <laughs> Miss is better than ma'am. Ma'am is my mom. All right, man. Fair enough. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, you got the coins. I, you know, I've got all these tanks right now. My sights are on these two things. You cannot get the Cobra because it's not released yet, and it's twenty-four coins. You can only get twenty-one. No, we have no information on Chapter Four. My guess was that they would release the Cobra, and Chapter Four would let you get at least three coins, so you oh. could get the Cobra. But I haven't heard anything like that, so I don't know if that's even true. Um, oh, it's not because probably not. Because it's going to be, uh, it's a marathon for another premium. Oh, yeah, yeah. Remember, yeah. I forgot about that. So, yeah. which yeah. one? It's the, uh, probably the Shiv TP thing. TVP, whatever that. I yeah, know. yeah, yeah. Or maybe the, maybe the Russian, is it KB4 prototype or some crap like that? I think. <clears throat> so, that's, that's a lot of random speculation. Well, that's what we're about here. There's nothing to do with facts, is it? It's just, it's just random. <laughs> what do you mean there's it no works for me. nanosecond? Thanks for the sub. What do you mean there's no turbocharger on World War Two? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's not true. I wonder if there were. I mean, oh, the, you know the, the fighter planes the technology had. Was there. Yeah, yeah, the, fi the fighter planes had turbochargers on them. Yeah. So why not? Absolutely. I bet there was a turbocharged tank or i bet there were turbocharged tanks the vehicles yeah yeah so where are you just going back on back pass where are you on um level three then i mean can i just say why does my why does my notification thing when people do gift subs i i just see the one name when it's when they're kedge thank you kedge and congrats to nanosecond but that's weird how that works that is a good question that's Good question. Well presented. It deserves an answer. <laughs> and it has none. I don't know. I, I have no answer for that. Or did it say Kedge gifted a sub and I just bit off on the on the main name? I don't know. Oh, possibly. I, I guess somebody's going to have to gift another sub for us to find out. Um, what well, there we, is what, that, isn't what there? What are we yeah, doing? There is that, isn't there? What the hell are we spend some more money, people. <laughs> don't buy my mugs or my T-shirts. Just gift a load of subs, that'll do. Uh, now, now, on, now, on the, now on the desperate tangent where I ask for yeah. subs. Holy crap. Yeah. That was... I have a wife, two, two dogs, a cat, and three children to maintain. Yeah. Give me a sub. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a personal problem, fella. You shouldn't have had so many kids. Oh, yeah. Keep it in your pants. <laughs> should, have had, should have had so many kids. Oh, man. If I, uh, oh there it is. Ambo just subbed. Yeah, look, it doesn't. It doesn't show it. Look at that. So, and then on the other one, it says Nano is gifting to the community. It's their first gift sub in the channel. Thank you, Nano. Nano second just gifted a tier one subscription. Nano second gifted a tier one to Ambo. I had to look at three things to come up with it. But not old. Why would it, why would it do? I yeah, Nano is gifting to tier one sub. All it means um, is I yeah, need to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm working. I'm working on it. All, uh, 
Yes, that's in the chat, but I, that that thing that comes up in the middle. Oh, you mean in your management um, chat? No, no, the, you see it, right? The baby. There you go. Jose yeah, yeah, Bass yeah. just subscribed. Yeah. Hype yeah. train. Hype train. Thank you, yeah. Jose. Yeah. See? And it said Jose Basser, but it was actually an anonymous gift. An anonymous gifter. Thank you very much, anonymous gifter. That'd be a good... Uh, would that be a good Twitch name? Anonymous gifter? <laughs> yeah, Pilgrim, cool, Pilgrim chucks in 100. Thanks, man. Um, what were we talking about? I'm completely lost track of everything now. I need, I need the, I need the you want battle pass to stage three now. I need a cricket sound. Of it. <laughs> oh, I'm on forty nine, man. Check it out. Artillery bugs. Um, Thank on, you. On three. Yeah, I got. I'm done. Just about. Oh, you did say that. Sorry, you did say. I'm not. I'm just started. I'm on chapter. I'm on chapter three, stage one. I'm a long way behind. Well, oh, you, did you buy? Did you buy no, your way? No. You didn't. You didn't buy your way through. That's the. No. That's my a, name's Doc Weedo. It's a long-held tradition in in World of Tanks. Just buy stuff and not actually play the oh, game. Right. Yeah. Okay. You don't have to play the game then, do I? No, you don't even have to play the game. You just buy everything. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Then you come to Coffee <laughs> Talk and talk about it. Oh dear. You have to play it to talk about No, you don't. No, you don't. You, you, oh, you definitely do not have to play it. You just make stuff up. Whatever sounds good. Do. We yeah. do that all the time. Absolutely. 100%. <laughs> oh, dear. This is the best game you don't have to play to talk about. Isn't it just? Yeah. It's all there. It's all out there for you. Whatever you want to do. You did we answer the Battle Pass time. questions? We did. we did, right? We answered the Battle Pass questions. We, yes, we did. You okay. can keep your points. Thank you, sir. Another day. Thank you, sir. Add your five keys. Five keys and all your points. Keep your keys. You got in November. Yeah, keep your keys. Keep your keys close and your enemy's keys closer. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about the fart of strategy. Yeah, let's do that. Who's a fan? Well, I t now, can I be totally honest with you? Rigor, thank you. Yeah, please be totally honest. Right, I'll be totally honest with you. Not that I'm totally honest with you. Not that I'm not totally honest with you all the time, but you know, you know what? I'm Just honest. another level of total honesty. Well, there's no level are you of total about honesty, to say? So with, let's go to the top. Are you about let's to say right with top. all due respect? With all, yeah, with all due respect. Okay. <clears throat> Got it. With all due respect, <laughs> the the only mode that interests me, other than regular play, is front lines. I will not bother with any of the other modes. They just. I'll go and visit them. I'll have one go, and I'm like, nah, I'm not here for this. But it suits other people. That's fine. Can I? Can I just? Uh, this is. I know this about you and your opinion of this mode. Do you know how I know that? Oh gosh, because I've never played it. No, because <laughs> you came into the stream. We played a few games. I'm like, well, I have to do our fart of strategy. <laughs> oh, I I did one on you. And you time. buggered off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, I had a list of chores as long as my arm, but yeah, <laughs> I was like, I'd rather be doing chores. In the back of my mind, I'm like, this mode. oh, this will be great. We'll have a little, I'll have a little back and forth with Pilgrim. I'll play the game. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, but I would not force somebody to sit around and watch me play if they wanted to do something else. Cliffy, thank you for the hundred. It's not that I wanted to do anything else. You didn't want to. You didn't want to deal with fart of strategy. I just didn't want to see fart of strategy <laughs> when I've got when I had uh, the bathroom to de gunge and the yard to clean and the list of jobs that she's left me because she's away for the weekend. I thought if I get them all done on Friday, I've got the weekend free. So I'll just give up watching fart of strategy with Guido. I think it was an entirely <laughs> rational decision. I think it Entirely was. Rational. I think it was the best I did, decision I made. All I weekend. did feel a little <laughs> bit abandoned, but I did understand. I can understand your abandonment yeah. issues. <laughs> you can get counselling for that, I'm sure. <laughs> all right, fart of strategy. Yeah. Um, don't tell her. Yeah, don't definitely because no, you'll get more. Oh, 100 percent. Boy, yeah. honey, what are you doing? Oh, I'm still working on that list. I'll yeah, that, that's exactly what I did when she phoned me this morning. How are you? Oh, I'm, I'm oh, in the middle of doing the bathroom. 
that works. Until she walks in, she'll be in any minute now. <laughs> yes, okay, do not raise expect ex expectation management is key. It's exactly key. Key okay. to a good marriage. <laughs> Fart of strategy. The good, the bad, the ugly. Um, I don't hate it. I, I am a RTS fan. I do like RTS okay. games. This one's kind of it, kind of interesting to me because it has. So, thank you so much, Obrubas. It has so much, a little bit of the of the RTS thing, but you can still the the ability to jump in the tank, and now it's just World of Tanks. Although it is bots right now, but there you have it. Unless you actually happen to engage the other player in a tank, which does happen. I it's not bad, but it, there are some things that are uh, poorly implemented. Thanks, Pilgrim. Oh, I got a hold on. I got a hype train. I won't let's see what we got here. I got that Choo -choo. thing. There it is. <clears throat> but it does have its problems. It does have its problems. Let's let's go through some of the mechanics real quick just to, to talk to you guys about it in case you're curious. I, I sort of I wish, like I said, I had known this on Thursday or whenever it started because I'm actually one point less than I should have, and it was easy to get it. Right. Okay. All right. So let's let's go here and take a look at this little chart down below. Um, I'm at, I may move us here. Hold on. Pilgrim and I are going to have to take a little ride here. Oh no! Whoop. Oh, I'm going to get seasick again. Whoop. All right. So that little bar down there. That you can see. I should be at six because it's been going for three days. And you could get two of those a day. And it was extremely easy to do that. When you come over here, it was the mission. You can do two of them a day. And and you get a point. So you needed 120 points in the 1v1. It says 1v1 or 1v7. But right now, you're only locked into a 1v1. And you're able to play it for free this first weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 40 points for a loss, 60 points for a win, which means it only took three losses to finish one. It only took six games. Oh, right. Got the got worst yeah. you could do was six games to finish one. Yeah. And if you happened to win one or two in a row, you were done with that one. You had to do that twice. So right. you could get two of these reward things, which if we go back over to here, you guys don't see what I'm doing, but okay, the, you know that's the mission right there. Apologize, it's hard to decide where the stupid cameras have to go. <laughs> um, which would have got me to six, which is twenty of these fifty percent bonus dudes. That's right, those, okay. those are good. Those are worth. Yeah, yeah. I, I think yeah. anyway. Yeah, tangent, Wayne. That's on my list of bad. Hundred percent agree. The time gate sucks. But I actually figured out why they did it. Right. Because <clears throat> I wasn't... I was thinking... Because we had this discussion... Let's just roll off on that tangent right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had that discussion on on stream, you and I did, and with you guys out there in, the, in chat land. And I was saying, I don't understand why the time gate, it's only 1v1, it doesn't matter, but there's yeah. a leaderboard. Now, I don't right. know... Right, yeah, yeah. Uh, 24 hours or 12, people are going to spam it. So I don't... Do they really think that by time gating it, they're going to give a more casual player an advantage over the guy who just sits around spamming games? They'll spam for 12 hours or 24 or 7 or 2. It doesn't matter. They're going to, Someone's going to learn how to spam. If you look at the leaderboard, yeah. they're playing yeah. a shit ton of this. Yeah, exactly. It's, that's what happens in ranked. In fact, somebody's just said that. Uh, catch. Yeah, that's what happens in ranked. It's time gated, so but there's enough players, as he said, there's enough players for ranked, but I'm not so sure there's enough players for this mode. Well, there's enough the right now because it's one v ones. I mean, I don't see any yeah. way you would not get, get a battle. Every time I go into the queue, it says one in queue. I don't think it even counts it. it I, I haven't had any trouble getting into a battle. Right. Okay. In this thing, and I don't think you would even if it was 24 hours. I think my opinion is they time gated it because of the leaderboard, which is about spamming games. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now the guys at the yeah. top are going to spam games and win. Yeah, of course they will. But, but you can also spam games like a madman and probably get close to the top. Maybe even close enough yeah. to get yeah. to get a win. Yeah. Those points, though, there are there is a negative for losing for those kinds of the the leaderboard points are different than these points down here, and 
you do lose some by by losing. So you do you do need to win. Yeah. So that's the time gate. I I don't like it. Even with sort of understanding now why they do it, I don't I don't like it. No, so what this because it's like everything else they time gate really. Yeah. You know, it's just it's a restriction on your play. So this one, one, way, one way or another. Yeah, absolutely. This uh, this one v one thing. Let's get back here. The one v one thing right here. Okay. T uh, actually, it says it over here. It's free until April twenty sixth, as it says right here. Yeah. So the reason I wish I'd have known is because I could have told you guys to crank out this first weekend, even if you don't really like the mode very much. Crank out this weekend because you would have ended up with. If we go back to here, you would have ended up with. Let's see, six plus four more, ten of these done. And you only need 18 to get to the 2,500. Right, so that only leaves eight to go. Eight to yeah. go. I'm going to have nine. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it was it was entirely doable, and, you know, it's unfortunate. On April 26th, though, things are going to change. Right now, the 1v1 is free. You just play. Right. I, I'll talk about some missions in a minute, because there's some other missions out there that can get you some points. Uh, because we'll just talk about it right now. Because you can see if to play as a strategist, where you're the one guy against the seven, which I don't think anyone's ever going to win. No. If they do, if they do, that would be kind of crazy. I suppose it's going to happen, but I, it feels like it's going to be very difficult. I have seven hundred of the intel things, and I need a hundred to play once, so I can do this seven times as of right now. So right. What, what's going to happen is. You're going to be able to play as a tanker against a strategist for free. Okay. Yeah. There's missions which will get you the points to play as a strategist. And you can either do as a strategist against seven tankers or the 1v1, which takes a different item, which I believe right now th those haven't been available. All right. They're going to be available here, if you highlight that, after the 26th, if you play as a strategist, then you will get, play as a tanker, how to play as a strategist, play as a tanker, so you'll be able to get these points by playing as a tanker once it starts. It's, conv yeah. it's convoluted. Yeah, I was going to say, it is quite convoluted, that, isn't it? That being said, if we go over to missions, re remember that you can get right now, that's how I have the 700. If you do 30,000 damage while playing as a strategist in the 1v1. So the idea here is to teach people how to play as a strategist. Let them get a, yeah, a yeah, bit yeah, of a yeah, head yeah. start yeah. getting some of these intel things. Get an yeah. idea of how the mode works. And then on the 26th, when that turns off and turns on the whole mode, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. then you can play as a tanker. You can continue to get some of these, but you will have some of these built up if you want to be a strategist against tankers. Yeah. There, there is there, there is there is the cynic in me that is now saying when it becomes pay for people will be hooked or not so the the reason why they put it out in this format right now is to get people hooked on it and with an expectation and then when it becomes you've got to use money to play the thing people will be more willing to spend because they've already invested time into it yeah that's the cynic so here's what i don't know Right now, the way the point system works, like I said, you only have to play three games and you're done with one of the two missions and another three games, and if you win, it's even less. So six games and you're done. If that point system stays when they go to the 1v7 and whatever, it won't matter whether you play as a tanker or as a right. as a strategist, and it won't really matter yeah. if you win or lose if you're still getting 40 points of the 120. Now, I, again, I don't know what the breakdown is, so I'm just sort of okay. throwing some guesses out because these missions here don't show that information yet, although this one does. Earn 120 playing as a tanker. So there you go. It looks like the same idea. So it's easy to get the 2,500 bonds. Now, that's an entirely different question than do you even want to play the mode? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it is it because you want the bonds and just do the mode to get the bonds? Right. Or is it because you like the mode and want to play it? Either way. Which is a horrible reason to play a yeah. mode. And we've talked about that yeah. so many times with their modes. Like, you, yeah. and you go onto the, the forum or Reddit or whatever, and people are talking about it, and they say, well, yeah. I'm only playing it to get the rewards. And then I just, uh, that just makes my brain explode. Yeah. <laughs> 
No, you are, you are. Yeah, I do. Do you know what I mean? It, it, it would it would stupefy me to play that mode for that particular reason. I have to enjoy it, which is why I don't do a lot of the modes. I do frontline because I enjoy it, and I do regular because I enjoy it. And the only thing I wish I could do is is um, ranked. But I can't because of the again it's time gated and it's it's time gated for obvious reasons to the North American server, so it's just too difficult for me to get into into the rank. And they're the only modes that I'd be really interested in, to be honest. So these guys are really cranking up the games. They're all pretty good players too, so far yeah. anyway. Yeah. So these but are. But again, all... that 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 fits. The reasoning behind it you know they're good players they know that the end result is well i wouldn't say it was easy for them but it was easier for them to get to the end result than it is for the average joe so they just yeah. crank it out because they're getting free stuff for doing it you know yeah gator i'm kind of with you on that but the i don't the reward is not anything like that it's just 2500 no. bonds so yeah. i'm after i'm after the bonds i'm after the uh um 50 percent after the 50 percent bonus oh, so, yeah, yeah. so i'm gonna yeah, crank through yeah. it and again yeah. i i sort of like it i i don't hate it as much as say the steel hunter i could i couldn't couldn't stand steel hunter it was terrible. no steel hunter was a real teller saying that i like command and conquer and when you look at the art of part of strategy very similar very similar to command and conquer you know you're directing effectively bots and yourself around a given situation and a given area with a, with a with a with a given enemy with a known enemy so very much like command and conquer i guess in that way but i, I wouldn't really i don't want to play world of tanks to do command and conquer i've got command and conquer on the computer so if i want to See, play but, that sort of mode i'll just do it but this is what i like about it though in terms right. of, of wargaming putting a mode out the the mode is at its heart still world of tanks there's no special abilities other than the defensive structures. That's different. Okay. You can jump into the tank, and all the mechanics and everything is exactly the same as World of Tanks. The problem, one of the problems, is the bot AI is so atrociously bad. <laughs> now AI is always problematic. It's not going to be a yeah. player. It just isn't. But the pathing is abysmal. Um, here's the best one, guys. Here's the, here's the best part. The best part of their AI. You take your scout, right? You guys saw this on stream. You jump in the scout. You do your scouting thing. You, you, you group up your tanks. Or you put them in your positions, your bots, and they sit there. And you, you have three things you can set them on. Uh, adaptive, defense, and scouting. Right. Recon, I think they call it. Adaptive is they'll engage stuff. So if, if something right. shows up and they see it, they're going to shoot it, which, of course, they get spotted and they now they're fighting. Defensive is they'll stay in a spot, but they'll still shoot. Recon right. is that the tank will try to get in a bush terribly, often often by sticking oh, its it's butt sticking out, out of another bush, <laughs> so you so he gets spotted. Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> well, Diablo was saying there when he was on the test server, the the bots were way way better, so they've dumbed down the bots. For really? The mode. That's weird. Monkey business. You're right. First side chat for monkey business. Yes, I would agree with that. Monkey business, hundred percent. And that's kind of what I'm going after because it because it is fairly easy and it's to some extent. I, this this gets into the into the discussion of you know is it an exploit? Are you are you? I won't say cheating, but are you manipulating the game and an un, to an unfair advantage? Because really, all I've done is I got fast tanks, and I rush over to the other side and I take them on. Now I have won more than I've lost doing that. But it's not a lot. So I'm think, I want to say I'm 11 and 8. And the majority of mine have been just pushing over to the other cap and attacking whatever yeah. I find. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it wins, sometimes it loses. For me, it loses. It wins a little more because if I jump in a tank, I'm good enough that I can kind of... I've turned a couple bad situations around just by playing a couple tanks Yeah, yeah. against players that were obviously not as good as I was in 1v1s. I've been rolled yeah, but up. But also, when you, when you do that particular um, situation of play like that, is that you know you're going to see the bots and attack the bots maybe the the human player is the other side of the map so you know you, you're you're gonna you're giving yourself an advantage by playing that play style being aggressive and going straight in there because you, 
the average is you're going to be up against bots, not against the. Human. Oh yeah, yeah. I've I've run into that. I mean, a couple times I've rushed onto the cap, and I could tell that the player was busy doing something else and didn't yeah. didn't come back for a while. Yeah. Um, the pathing's terrible. So when you try to turn your tank, like when you when you if you select all your tanks and tell them to go here, what happens is if the bots select the same path, which they often do, they'll get into a traffic jam, and instead of just all driving next to each other. I mean, it's a completely open map. It, it usually happens if they have to go around something. So that three tanks are all trying to take the same line, and now they'll 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 stop, and then one will go, and then the next will go, and then and there's there's eighty feet, two thousand feet of space on either side they could go on. <clears throat> right. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, Doctor Coleman, I haven't started playing yet. Could I? I think yes, you can still do it. It when how long how long does it go? When does it end, guys? Uh, that's another thing. I don't see the time anywhere for how long it goes. I want to say it's it's May something, right? End of May, guys? Is that right? I think you still can, in other words. Let's see. Art of Strategy. It goes to May 5th. Well, that's not nearly as long as I thought. That gives you one. Let's see. Count today. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, I think you can easily make it. So if you've got twelve days of playing, for the next two days you can only get four if you haven't started. Yeah, yeah. Because the other yeah. mission isn't up. Yeah. So if we go here, so that'll get you four. That that means you need twelve more. That would be six days of playing. So yes, you, you can still make it. Right. Um because I think on the 26th, you'll be able to get four a day. Two over here, and two over here as a tanker. I think what I'm... As what a I'm, tanker, not as a strategist. Well, I'm, I'm thinking you can do both as of the 26th. Oh, can you? Oh, okay. I, All right. But I don't know. Does this one go... Right. Does this one stop when the 26th shows up and this one turns on? Yeah, otherwise, you, otherwise you can get four a day, and you can crank through that pretty quickly. Yeah. <clears throat> so... My my answer to that question is a qualified yes. I'm not I'm not one million percent sure, but I'm pretty sure you can fairly easily. So back to the point system. If the same system applies to being a strategist, it means you can win or lose, get through it really quickly. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, as a strategist, you could just yellow into the players too. That that might be interesting too, because you know, you get seven players. They're not old. If they have any clue, they'll get together and they'll just roll over your AI. Yeah, yeah. But it's randoms. Who knows where they're all going to go? You know, everyone's got a everyone's a, a genius strategician in their own mind, right? Yeah. So, and also, why why is it always tier ten? I know that you know it's like how fun would this like, be with tier ones? Amazingly, that's what I mean. I would go and play these uh, modes just to be silly, other than anything else. Just to be silly. Or what about a setup where a tier one? Yeah, T one Cunningham bombing around the map. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Well, so you got seven tanks. What about a uh, what about a setup where you got one top tier, two next tier down, and the other yeah. and the other four were a bottom tier thing? <clears throat> That'd be cool as you well, know? wouldn't it? Oh, hey. I think they just miss out a lot on possibilities with stuff like this. It's not thought through in that sort of depth, is it? I don't think. Tier one on mitten guard, exactly. There you go. Stoic silence is in the house. <laughs> Stoic ripoff of Command and Conquer. Oh, man. <laughs> with the wheeled tanks only, says 24 hours, 7 11. There you go, Diablo. There you, there you go. And 24 hours, 7 11. Sorry, man. Uh, games are well. No games today. We're, we're just yapping. Should I buy the Skoda T fifty? We just talked about that. Um, all right. My answer to should you buy is completely qualified by whether you can afford it, which sounds stupid, but there you go. It is a very good tier eight premium tank. Well, let's go. Let's go to the numbers, man. Let's check it out. While you're doing that, I'll just answer stoic. That's exactly what I've just said. Exactly what I've just said. I've got Command and Conquer on the computer. Why would I play Command and Conquer on World of Tanks? <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad, guys. It's not bad. Uh, all right, so T-56. Here we go. Let's bring this up. 
Now, Guido says it's a very good tier 8 premium. What do the numbers say? Come over here. For win 8, not the best statistic, but still solid. Top 5 or so. Win rate, right. number 2, other than the fairly uh, low number, low density Charlemagne, it's basically number 1 of tanks that people can get to. DPG, number 2. Frags, number 2. Damage ratio, number two. Kill death, number two. Survival, no. There you go. There you go. So also loaded beast. It is a monster, and the numbers say it is as well. So. Yeah. All right. But I wouldn't pay for the package <clears throat> if you're thinking along those lines. Um, who asked the question? Twenty-four hours seven. Be very careful with the package or the packages that are on offer. If you if you if you want to spend a hundred dollars plus, then that's up to you, and that's you. Yeah. you know, I'm not saying don't do it, but personally, maybe not. Diablo, we'll talk about that. Uh, we're going to talk about the best tank and whatnot based on the series I had and a lot of you guys' comments because I think it's an interesting discussion. I what I will say about that quickly before we get to it later on in the in the show is even with that high of an expected, it still has a very high top five. Win eight, so that's yeah. an indicator. Yeah. Yes, it's lower because expected. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Because the relative expected are different between those tanks, but it still does very well. Even even with that as kind of a negative to it, it's still near the top. And all the other numbers are second, other than the Charlemagne, which is we can kind of discount. Because yeah, that's of a that's a big old outlier. That is anyway. Yeah. Because of, I mean because. It, <clears throat> Well, I don't want to get into it. We'll, we'll get yeah. into it later. Uh, Can we just go back to the very beginning of the coffee talk? The very beginning? Hey, the I'm Guido coming at you from the left side coffee. of the Atlantic. Yeah. And it's Pilgrim <laughs> coming from the correct side of the Atlantic with a special offer for today only. You get a Guido mug and you get a Guido t-shirt. Uh, stop it. Free of charge with the mug because there's more it. people watching now so I thought I'd get that in there. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Buy one today. Shilling on, shilling on. The only other tank I was considering getting the 703, also very good. Also very yeah, good. I, Not quite as good, but it's up there as well. If you go, that site is called uh, tomato.gg. So if you ever want to see what is happening with a tank in the current meta, I would absolutely. Uh, the mug, the mugs are time gated. You can only buy them yeah. for the next ten minutes. One hundred percent. But you can't use any known credit card to man apart from apart, apart from <laughs> Indonesia Express. Yeah. If you've got an Indonesia Express card, you can use that one. <laughs> the way the system works is is you send me a uh, you send me a PayPal donation, and then the and then I never send you a mug, and then later on we ask you for more money. Much like the Nigerian prince, that that's the yeah. that's the basic system that we're operating under. Yeah, give us that. your bank account number and we'll send you a mug. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get canceled. There's a guy. Yeah. There's a guy streaming named Guido who's trying to get people's information. He's trying to scam people. <laughs> Never do not yeah, send it me. Is a tad, it is a do tad, not send it, me it, any it, personal it, information. I don't it, want it. Here, here, here's a tangent for you. <clears throat> this is the best scam I've heard yet. And it's just come to light. Um, mm. I was at work last week, and one of the lads came into work. In fact, it wasn't one of the lads. It was the, one of the uh, courier drivers came in. He went, got a brilliant deal for you guys. There's this fella who's, you know, there's problems with um, uh, gas and electric supplies and all the rest of it, and they're going through the roof, the prices. Oh, boy, well, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Apparently, there's a guy who shall remain nameless who is... Um, I know a guy. Yeah. Got some insider information, uh, and on the basis of the insider information, he's going to set up a company that will sell gas and electric at 50% of the current cost. All he needs, right, all he needs is 5 million people to donate £19 to his business. They all get a share certificate each. If it fails, they get 15 of the 19 back, guaranteed, and, and, and the £4 is administration costs. Well, I've just worked out, if it gets 1 million people doing that, that's that's like 19 million pounds, giving back 15 million, he keeps 4 million for himself. 
I've just cracked it. You I do. know what to do. I'm going to set a business called Pilgrimomics. Well, they have a they have a word for that kind of business. What's that? It's a Ponzi. It's a Ponzi. It's a Ponzi scheme. That is a Ponzi. Scheme. Oh, is that what it is? That is a pyramid scheme. That is a that's a Ponzi know. scheme. Yes. I don't know. Yeah, you can have your fifteen pound back. I keep, we'll keep for the administration. No, if he gets five million people, he's got twenty million pounds. I mean, absolutely the oldest financials, the fi- oldest financials, uh, you know, shenanigans ever. Scam. Yeah, scam. Yeah, that, I mean that's that's. He's like this courier. He coming. He was going. Oh, I've signed up. I've signed my wife and my three kids to it. And oh, I just dude. All this. I was like, oh, I said, dude, no, mate, you need to get no. your money back fast. You need Bro, to cancel that fast. Yeah, that is no, no, sir, no, sir. <laughs> what a way to make money, eh? <laughs> uh, that hurts. That hurts my heart a little bit for the guy because he's really excited. I mean, he's. Yeah, no, he, I, I, I did try and straighten him out on uh, Friday, but I, oh, I don't think he went dude. away with anything other than I'm still doing it because he said. This uh, is the reasoning behind this scam. He went, yeah, but I've only lost four pounds if it doesn't work. Yeah, you, you've you lost four pounds. You just gave four pounds to somebody. Yeah, exactly. If you want to give four pounds to anybody, give it to me. <laughs> just I, could, it to me. I could use a Sammy. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, <laughs> buy me a pint and I'll, uh, I'll exactly. be your friend for the night. You know, you, you'll yeah, get more absolutely. out of it. <laughs> absolutely. Well, maybe absolutely. not me. Maybe be, buy Pilgrim a... a uh, Ginger, ginger beer. beer. Buy me a ginger beer. He's a, he's a better, he's more fun to hang out with anyway. Yeah. Knee jerk, it's not pounds in weight. Behave yourself. <laughs> Pound sterling. I feel, I, feel, I feel bad for the guy, man. That sucks. It is. I mean, I did try and talk him, but he'd already done it. And I went, look, you, I, I didn't know what it was called. But I, yeah. you know, I didn't know it was called this Ponzi thing. But I, yeah. I did sad to him. I said, look, mate, you know, seriously. You've just given away, in fact, more than four pounds because he put four pound. He put nineteen down for himself, nineteen for his wife, and nineteen Ooh. for his two kids. So that's like sixteen pound. He's just given this geezer for nothing. Now, generally, when those things collapse, he's not going to get his money back. He probably won't even get his money. So he back won't even get, get that back. Yeah, yeah, he's not getting. He's not getting any of that back. I promise you. Yeah. He will never get any of money. that back. Because he, he went. If you go on TikTok. I mean, I'm not going to mention the guy's name, but he said, "You go on TikTok. He explains everything on on TikTok." And I went. Yeah, he's good at talking. He's got the gift of the gap. That's why he's ripping you off. You know? yeah. In the States, we call it a Ponzi scheme because there was a famous case, and the last, I believe the last guy's name was Ponzi. And he was, uh, okay. he was a financial guy, and, and I, I think his deal was he was scamming investors. So he yeah. would you know promise these crazy payouts. So people would send him money, and then if somebody asked for the payout or the early people in get payouts that look good, but you, you yeah. got to keep bringing people's money in because he's not really making money other than the investor's money, and then he's oh, paying it out. And eventually, so that money is then if, being yeah. used to keep a few people happy. Bernie so Madoff did it. Yeah. Saying it's yep. brilliant. Oh, okay. I want to say oh. Ponzi was back in the twenties or something like that. Oh, okay. I, I can't remember. Oh. But, oh. Um, well, if he comes, if he comes on Monday. I'll I'll talk to him again. But I think it's too late. I think he's paid it. Already, yeah. So he's not oh, going to see, is he? dude. Never mind. I'll talk to him again on Monday and just say, "Look, we need to stop doing that." All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna take a rest here. I gotta go uh, hit the uh, loo, and we're gonna take a five-minute break. We've been out for an hour, so we'll come back, guys. Give us five minutes, and we'll be right back.
Okay, my friends, we are back. Got a fresh cup of coffee. Here's a, here you go. Here's some flowers. Here's some flowers for you. Check that out, man. Those are my roses. Yeah, I, I, I was just saying to you earlier on about that. They, they are, um, I quite like the idea in Florida that you get an early, well, for me, it's early, because mine aren't even, uh, mine aren't even, well, they're budded, but they're not flowering <clears> at the moment. <throat> if my first lot will flower in a week or two, and then the rest will come out over summer. But, yeah, I guess the, the climate in Florida is, is, is such that you get early, early flowers, I guess. Cool. Two, yeah, two different bushes. These are cool. My, my mom, my mom sent these. So I think these two. I mean, it was perfect timing. They both bloomed at exactly the same time. Freaking! I think they're trying to outdo each other. So I was pretty happy with that. Well, here's I, here's a heart puller for you then. Here's a heart puller, right? My uh, my mother died December last year, and um, we've just <clears> managed <throat> to finalise the sale of the house. And um, I went there yesterday, and. We've been keeping it clean and tidy, obviously, for prospective buyers to come along. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, there's been a bunch of tulips have grown out of the gravel. And I went there yesterday, and there's just this flowering bunch of tulips sat there out the front of the gravel. Wow. I was like, thank you, O'Reilly. <laughs> Hello, Mum. <laughs> oh, that's cool, man. Yeah, life finds yeah, a yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, amazing, isn't it? You know, I mean, we'd be, you know the flowers, they just appear as if by magic, don't they? <laughs> yeah, that's cool, man. Yeah, I got my first tomatoes already, and one of my pepper plants yeah, it's out. is already kicking some peppers <laughs> off. So, See, I, uh, that's the whole climate of Florida, though, isn't it? So, very productive, isn't it? Yeah, Charles Ponzi, 1920. Yep. I was right. I was close. All right, cool. So, let's, let's, wrap, up. <clears throat> let's wrap up the fart of strategy. Yes, I actually kind of, kind of enjoyed it. Uh, I wouldn't. I don't think I would want to play a whole bunch of it, but it's been interesting. Speed running it is is easy. So right. if you're going to do it, I would recommend you know doing it that way. I think you can. I'm pretty sure you can still finish it and get your 2,500 bonds. So I, we'll leave it at that. It definitely has some problems. I'm, I'm going to do a video and we'll talk about the problems. Pathing. Um, the the scout thing drives me crazy because what happens with that? I, I didn't finish that whole train of thought. But what happens is if you put it in, in defense. He won't yeah. go anywhere, but if he sees someone, he shoots. What's the point <laughs> in that? If you put it on adaptive, he definitely shoots, and he charges. If you put it in, if so, what was happening is I would go down that line of bushes on Ghost Town in the field and get him into that spot where you, you know you can't really shift because you're you're in a narrow bush, and I'd leave and I'd hit and and I'd leave in a, or I'd set it on. Uh, Defense. First time I tried was defense, yeah. which he immediately fired yeah. and died. Second time I tried. <laughs> second time I tried recon, which I went. Oh, it must be recon. He'll, he'll just stay oh, there. No, he's yeah. the AI goes. Ooh, I know a better bush way to go. And, he'll, and he sticks his ass end out. And <laughs> you give up with it then, don't you? Know, oh, yeah. There there should be a command that says stay exactly right here. Yeah, exactly. That. Don't move. Don't move. Don't shoot. Don't do nothing. Yeah. The other one was airfield. I had him sideways in a, in a long bush, so to speak. There was a yeah. there was an open spot, and then there was a yeah. bush here. So he's in this bush. There's an open spot, and there's a bush over here. Yeah, yeah. It spins yeah. around, goes to this bush halfway <laughs> in, and half its ass out in the in the open space. And he's looking that way, and the enemy's coming yeah. from from that way. So he he just sticks that is you know I don't even know I have no idea. <clears throat> I'll tell you what it is. I tell you what it is. It is Wargaming's coding team that thinks that's how light play is actually done in the real world of World of Tanks. Well, I imagine it's something like the algorithm, the, the coding of the algorithm looks at the bush and says, "How do I cover most of my tank?" You know right. what I'm saying? There'll be some logic, yeah. and it yeah. sees that bush and it says, "Well, that's a yeah. better bush than this bush based on you know my yeah. my calculation." Yeah. The best way to do it is to go here, even though no yeah. threat's ever going to come from over there. It's all going to come <laughs> over there. <clears throat> I mean, I don't, I don't know. But no, but no, give up. All right, so oh, there it is. Get through. <laughs> yeah, stop trying to make sense of it. Yeah. So that's that. The fart of strategy. Um, cool. What else we got? 
we got Aquino weekend coming up for you Canadians and anybody up in the Northeast or really anybody who wants to go there. So that's coming up on June 3rd to 5th. There, you do have a code for a discount Yeah, there's for a tickets. code to get a discount. And I'm not sure if it's 10% or 15% off the ticket price. But if you put, if I write it in, but it has to be, um, it's capital what underscore. Now, you you need to check it out, guys. I'm not sure if it's capital community underscore uh, 2022. So just check it out. But apparently, if you put that code in when you're booking your tickets, you get a percentage discount, 10 or 15%. But you can cool. check it out on the website. Lex73, thanks for the follow. Gary Doucette, thank you as well for the follow. Welcome to the show. And for everybody for the hype train that entered a while about, thank you so much for all that. That was awesome. Um, yeah, okay, so there's the code. Kino Weekend, 3rd to the 5th. Did you guys know... Did you? <laughs> this makes me laugh every time I think about it. Did you guys know that there was a Wargaming FM... A a ra a internet radio station for war gaming. Did you know this? <laughs> when Guido told me this morning, I thought that is the oldest April the first joke I've ever heard. <laughs> but apparently it's true. Ask Guido why he knows there's a radio station for World of Tanks. Ask him. <laughs> Ask him in question. Has anybody said that? Knows. Did anyone know it is full of swearing? It's been around for a long time. It was in Aslan's to add an in-game mod. There you go. Well, right. here it is. Uh, the only reason I know to Pilgrim's question is they're they're canceling it. They're shutting it down. <laughs> and it was the fact that they were shutting it down was in a blog. And uh, yeah. <laughs> so, like right now, there's music, and then there's a history reference and music and music and music. I, I guess it's their music. Do they just play their map music over and over yeah. again? Which I have turned off. So wow. I'm not going to listen to bloody radio. <laughs> Actually, I don't think so. This is uh, Rompasso and KDDK featuring Halkion Supernova. So whatever. I don't know. Can you? Can I hear okay. this? Okay. So. Isn't it, isn't it amazing that, I mean, all right, I don't know everything about World of Tanks, but it's amazing that the first time I hear about it is when it's closing down. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. How about that? How about that for communication? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Anywho, <clears throat> very strange. So, so it's closing. Was it? Was I might it... have listened to it. I might have actually bothered my ass and listened to it if I knew it was around. <laughs> I don't. Great. I don't remember having ever ever been advertised on the NA page. I, I can't. I, I mean, can't. maybe it I was when it first I, came it would out. Stick in your mind, wouldn't it? Somewhere. Wouldn't there be a link somewhere on the page that said, "Hey, you, you know"? <laughs> wouldn't you just? I don't know. Wouldn't you just? <laughs> I mean, I'm no marketing. Oh, I'm no mar. <laughs> what are we laughing at? The whole bloody thing. Oh, okay. The whole thing about well, you know, we 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 allude. To the fact that Wargaming is not very good at communication. And they've got a bloody radio station that absolutely nobody knows anything about until they decided to close it. <laughs> well, I wonder Sorry. if it was well known. I wonder if it was more well known on the Russian side, on the Russian I, thing. Possibly. And yeah, is possibly. part, you know, is it being closed because it's bad? Or is it being closed because it was connected with the studios that, Are you? that have yeah. been cut loose? And the main, the main, the mothership has said, "All right, we're we're canceling that." Obviously, that you guys can do whatever you want, but our involvement is that's gone, so we're canceling that website. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. There you go, Cliffy's got it there. Look, <laughs> uh, too loud. You're too old. I, I don't remember, man. But that wasn't Bob. What was it called? Ninety uh, eight X, I think, is what it was here. I believe. We're gonna FM in it with stylish music and infotainment. It's a radio designed for fans of World of Tanks, World of Warships, and yep, news jokes and answers from developers. I mean, I, I just feel like that that would have been something you would advertise quite a bit, and so that it Wish. became. You would known. have a link at least, wouldn't you? You would have something. WKRP yeah. and Minsk and Addy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You'll take a pint of Alexandra Keese, a great Canadian beer. Outstanding. 
I have never heard of Alexander Keith's. Alexander Keith. Is it alcoholic, uh, Gary? Is it alcoholic? Because I can't have it if it is. Did they not do a non-alcoholic version of Alexander Keith's? Alexander Keith's is a brewery in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Well, there you go. Awesome. Nice. Uh, looks like a standard. It's stick. Oh, they, well, they have an IPA. Okay. Stick look. Turkeys do fly. They throw them out of a large, tall, story building. <laughs> That's right. The great turkey drop. Uh, great. That is a great scene. <clears throat> All right. India Pale Ale. Okay. <laughs> Called an India, yeah, IPA. Uh, let's see. All right, so we talked about Fart of Strategery, Aquino Weekend, Wargaming FM. All right, let's talk a little more tanks here because we I found some some things. Let's see if I can find some things again here. So it's not on this. Nope. All right, we got to go over here. Do 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 do. All right, some tanks that are inbound apparently. First thing is, and I'm not sure where this comes from. Let's bring it up on the on the Chrome. Gonzalo versus Caliban model difference. Oh yeah. So apparently, and I don't know, I don't know where this comes from. Maybe somebody knows, but apparently there's some discussion about putting a 120 instead of the 160 on the Caliban, which will downgun it. But apparently make... And I actually thought I had the stats on this thing somewhere. Maybe it's further down here. There it is. So here's the stats on it. Comment... This is funny. Comment from our historian friend at Armored Archives. This is entirely a made-up spin-off. There was never any discussion of 120 for 120mm guns as the 160 was the only gun listed due to the nuclear rounds. I didn't realize this was meant for lobbing nuke tactical nukes around the battlefield <laughs> okay that's uh, interesting yeah so i mean that's fine uh, we have a lot of tanks that are just napkin tanks basically uh so we're talking about this is the everything i think is similar but the gun is a 440 alpha looks like it has some kind of hesh round going on penetration 240 219 or 60 millimeters so there you go. A a somewhat faster firing. Now is it is this cyclical? I don't this does not look like this does not look like an autoloader. Guys... Well I hope not. I, I mean I, I like the idea of having a smaller gun and uh, a, a, um, a shorter reload time. Um, but still with sufficient punching power because the, the 122 is not a mean Gun at all, is it? You know what I mean. It's but the aiming time, time is still useful. four seconds. Oh, so is it? I don't know how this this has to be an auto the two round auto. Wait a minute, did I just read it? No. <clears throat> I mean, a fourteen second reload for a four forty alpha cyclical. That can't be right. This must be some kind of two round auto loader. Doesn't say that, but I'm a, that's that's I'm making an ass umption about it. So there's that thing. This Lago M38 has fueled some speculation. I don't know if it's a little premium. Oh, World of Tanks 12th anniversary gift. There you go. So I guess that's the next gift, Lago M38. That's a departure though, because the last few of them have been tier sixes that are kind of returning tanks, haven't they? Right, yeah. the super chaffy, yeah. the super Hellcat, yeah. the yeah, the twenty eight hundred one, the tanks they nerfed or took out because they were too powerful. Yes. They them back so nerfed. they've run out of those, I guess. Uh, I, can't re I can't really think of another one they've taken out that people would want back. So this is a is it a tier six? I'm assuming it is. No, it's a three. Okay, so those tanks were well deserved rewards. Not necessarily anniversary gifts, weren't they? Was that the same thing? No. No. It was, oh, yeah, no, it might have been, actually. Yeah. I don't remember how that went. No, they were... Because um, it was during the anniversary, right? It was. I'm just thinking they were... They were you know, they were gifts over a period of time. There was... 
not like reward tanks, but they were gifted tanks, weren't they? You got it yeah. because you'd had so many years in the game. Because I think there's, isn't there two events? Basically, there's the World of Tanks anniversary and there's the War Gaming anniversary. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. So I can't remember how all that goes. Um, anyway, that's there. This, so this was Shock Super Test Shock HT8. This had a different designation, I thought beforehand, but I guess they're going to call it Shock. I don't know where that comes from. Maybe that's what it's called in the files. I don't know, but it's another looks to be premium tier eight. Running around with another 122 version. Come down here to the stats on the gun. It's got the 390 Alpha, like a lot of them do. 221 pin, 285 with gold. Minus six gun depression. The armor, 150 on the whole, 300 on the turret. Yeah. Yeah. Yowza. Yeah. You've got to say, haven't you? Mm. You've got to say. It's a heavy well, are, they, is that, are they firmed up stats, are they? Or are they I don't know. subject to change? It's uh, not in the file, so it's more complete stats, so it's obviously still in development, right. but that's yeah. what it looks like initially. Relatively low view range at 380 for tier 8. What's its speed? 45? Not bad. Minus 12 backwards. <laughs> why not? <laughs> why not let it back up faster than other heavy tanks? Oh, Jeez. yeah, why not? So that's pretty cool. Now... Here's, a, here's another cool little find, which is probably not a find to many people, but was to me. If you watch the in-game files, let me get back over to what, you can find some cool stuff. And I didn't think about it when they said that this tank was, was being put in in the last patch, but check this out. The SHPTK TVP. Oh, yes. Yeah, so it's, old, in, um, it's in the files. Ooh. Uh, we can actually preview the vehicle. Here's what it looks like in the game. It, well, pain, look, it pains you. I don't like German, the Caliban. It's very German, <laughs> isn't it? I like the idea of the Caliban. I have very horrible, terrible... I'm not going to call it luck. I wanted to say luck. I, I just don't play those big derp guns very well. Yeah, we, 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 uh, we actually we meme that tank because... We play it on stream as the last tank. It's the old um, the HE yeah. meme, isn't it? So yeah. we'd probably not do it any favors. Do well, we? I am clearly doing it wrong based on my results. <laughs> I mean, yeah. pe people are three marking it and doing it well. So wh whatever they're doing, I do not do. I just I just don't like the big derpy guns. You know what I mean? I hate the fact that I can't take the shot unless it's fully zoomed in. That I've been sat around in the open for like ten minutes, being yeah. being shot and spotted by everybody before I can take a shot. I'd, I'd rather just be able to pop one off and take the look and hopefully hit something. Wayne, that's a great question, and for some reason I have a bug when my zoom stops randomly working. Hold on, let me try to do this here. No, that's, oh, not... that's a good question. Is it? I don't know why. It... Does anyone have that issue? Does your does your zoom? Just stop randomly working and you Oh my god, what have I done? I've made a grave error, friends. How did I manage that? Did I just get rid of it? I don't know. There's half and half. <laughs> Alright, that's that. I managed to turn off my uh, client, so give me a second. <laughs> this is this is the Caliban getting its own back on you now. There's so I have two screens. There there is some kind of and I don't know if it's uh, a bug or what exactly what I'm doing, but if I move my mouse quickly and click too soon, somehow I turn off, I, I'm able to turn off various programs or apps, especially the client. Sometimes it just, and I don't know if it's crashing because of what I'm doing or if I'm actually hitting something specifically. Um, I've never been able to figure out what it is I'm doing, but every once in a while when I move the mouse quickly, I'm trying to get to the other screen uh, and I left click, it shuts it down. I don't know what what's going on the answer to your question i think it was wayne is i i think it's a casemate it sort of looks like a turret but i don't see any space there actually let's go over to uh, tanks.gg and see if there's a model in, well, that's a good uh, in there I yet can, there I, should can, be. I can do that very quickly go over to check uh is it in there yes go to 3d model Oh. 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 
is it? Check this out. So basically, it has a turret. It has a turret. It's it a, not 360 though. It's not. No. It's it's 180 by the looks of it. Well, how come I'm able to? Hold on. No, you can't get it. It'll go all the way around. Sure, I can. Oh, I can. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I was flipping past. Yeah. Look at that. So it is a checklist. Of, basically, let's look at the stats. But it's starting to feel like a Czechoslovakian. Uh, Waffentrager. Scor scorpion. Do you think scorpion or Waffentrager? Oh, I don't know. Scorpion. Uh, well, let's see how fast it is. I'm feeling more like a Su-130 or a Scorpion. Su-130 PM or whatever that thing's called. Oh, my profile is ridiculous. It has none, right? No. Oh. Yeah. 84 mil. Effective armor, 84 mil. <laughs> so... Pen by a sneeze. It's only dropping 250, but look at that pen. Standard yeah. round, 270. Yeah. So it's not hitting hard. 270... Standard pen is outrageous. Yeah. That's insane. It's a slow firing tank, though. 11 seconds for a 250 payoff. That is forever. Yeah. Minus Stickler, six. You're not going to enjoy that TD. Stickler is the TD aficionado. Let's, he ain't going to enjoy that. Actually, let's, let's drop a scorpion here and see what that looks like as a comparison. Got to configure this because it's probably got a crew. No, okay. There we go. All right. So obviously the alphas are way different. The penetration is more. Oh wait, I'm a, I'm a muppet. I was conflating rate of fire with gun loading. It actually loads very quickly. All right. So belay that last BS. It loads in five seconds. That's that's pretty. Crazy. Oh wait, just said that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Similar depressions. Yeah. Aiming time is very quick at 1.25. 0.29 accuracy for 28.97 DPM. Not much armor, but frankly, more than a Scorp. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, what's the speed? The speed is 55, close to the Scorp. With, where's it? specific power? Better specific power than Scorpion, so we'll get up and go better. Put the, uh, put the weapon dragon in the um, comparison tool. The RHMB? Yeah. Oh, that's that's a different tank. But yeah, we'll chuck yeah. it in there. Where's the TDs? Do, 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 just, do. just to get the comparison. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Let's configure that one. Get the equipment off of it. Okay. 490. Rate of fire a little faster. DPM 26, so a little more than the Scorpion, but less than the accuracy wise. It's quite quite a bit less accurate at 0.34. Yeah. A little more aim time. Speed wise, this thing is much faster, I believe. Yeah, the RHMB's only does 35. So these two things are speedsters compared to the RHMB. Right. So basically, the comparison is the Scorpion, <laughs> not the uh, not the German. Well, but I will say though, the RHM has you can't see it because it's behind the camera. But the RHM is sitting at 22.52 stationary. The the right. Czech has 16.07, and the Scorpion is not great at 9.0 9.29. Yeah, yeah. Well, the Scorpion's got the high turret, is not it? Yeah. So it it has a turret. Look at that. Crazy. Four crew members. Turreted. Now this is... These numbers are going to be slightly different. I don't... Is this... I don't know why this has a higher DPM. I, there was a reason why these numbers are slightly different when you look at this one. Characteristics of the crew trained 100%, including all mounted game assets from the bundle. Oh. <laughs> I've never noticed that. I mean... That's odd. Check this out. From the game bundle. I don't know. Look at that, guys. That little note down there. The characteristics for the crew trained to 100%, including all mounted game assets from the bundle. Right. So well, that... Check that out, man. So that's whatever equip... Yeah, from the marathon clip. That's what I'm gathering from it. So whatever... So it looks like it's going to probably come with a rammer, I guess. Maybe vents. That's going to increase your. Uh, that's going to increase your DPM. 
dispersion down to 0 0.29. So nothing's aim time at 125. All right, well, there you go. Interesting. Yeah, Diablo, that's that's a standard war gaming um, <clears throat> um, procedure, isn't it? So they've got a they've got a yeah, premium TD. They they've obviously got a TD line coming soon, and I think we've already discussed it's probably yeah, going to be end up an, a, a, as a marathon tank. So that's really really making me think that's the tank. Yeah. I don't. That's a lot of that's a lot of clues in the direction of of the marathon slash fourth chapter being for this thing yeah absolutely yeah okay let's talk best tank series oh yeah let's do that let's you've kicked up a shit storm there's some controversy no, there isn't. Con <laughs> no it's all good debate because there's a lot of great points a lot of great points so i i have started making a best of tier whatever i started at tier six i did all five of the classes mediums heavies tds spgs and lights and there was a lot of great discussion in the comments there the premise first let me give you my premise the premise for me is what is currently the best in general looking at win rate yeah while understanding that there are other caveats we already touched on it a little bit with the charlemagne that that is at the top, but it is played by a much smaller subset of very good players. So really, that one has sort of self-filtered just based on how you get it. You know, and it's fairly obvious that it's doing so well because it's played by good players. But I think it's also probably a good tank because the outlier nature of it is so high. But that's that's debatable. You could certainly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's so that's debatable. So most of the tanks I tried to look at and say, all right, you know, I, I discussed the one that was number one. The other outlier that was interesting to me was the Type sixty four and the light tanks because it's yeah. just purely OP. It you never got see, nerfed. You can see that it's stats or not, you can see that. And everyone knew that if you've been around long enough and and yeah. were around when the light tanks were nerfed, those tanks were were not were left at the tier they were at, and they weren't nerfed, and yeah. they were designed. They were balance such as wargaming balances to see much higher tiers yeah. and then when they changed all the scouts and put higher tier scouts those premiums did not get nerfed no because because of because of the fallback they would have had from people who've actually spent real money buying them and all, you know the whole story right. that goes back to way back when when they did that um particular action and it hit yeah. the back big style didn't it so there, so that's just another example of, of a reason why something might be at the top, and it's and it's a something that's vulnerable to a counter argument of saying, well, it's not really the best tank. But I, you know, at the, for me, at the end of the day, whatever tank is winning most, that that is the best tank. It may not, and this is a, a macro scale, right, meta scale. Yeah. If I'm telling Pilgrim. You know, the best tank for Pilgrim is this tank because it has the highest win rate. That may not necessarily be true, and I totally yeah. get that. So individually, that changes the dynamic. That's one yeah. reason why it might change the dynamic. Yeah. Then you get into the tank, and it really gets a bit convoluted when you get into the tank curves. Yeah. Because how a tank does, depending on the skill, can really change opinions of it, and now you have other arguments about whether something's good or bad. Yeah. You know? Very, very, very subjective. <clears throat> yeah. If you you can take data, we've discussed this before the stream. You can take data and you can massage it to give you the end result that you're looking for. You know, mostly about or, data or mostly. torture it. Yeah, exactly. You know, <laughs> so you have to take. You can be nice and massage it, or you can just plain old torture the data until it says what you want. Absolutely, it to. until yeah. it gives you what you want. Exactly. Absolutely. So I don't know, what do you guys think, man? I know a lot of you got very definite opinions of it. I uh, took umbrage with a couple of, of my choices. But for me, for me, it was mostly aiming at you know what what was getting the best win rate and doing the most damage and all that good stuff. Win eight is problematic for all the great reasons people said that 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 it was built for individual tank stuff. However, even win eight, I think, is normalized a bit based on how many people are playing the tank if you still if yeah. you have a large yeah. data set and the win eight is still high 
yeah. then I think it's still a, a decent metric for whether a tank's good or not. Even understanding yeah. that each tank has a different win eight requirements. So Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But as a broad brush, given the data set that you've got, you can use that as a, as an application per tank. That's fine. I think that's that's a viable um that's a viable thing to have given that you know every player plays differently every player has a different mindset yeah. every player you know blah 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 so yeah the, if you want a generic sort of broad brush i think that's right i think you can use that as it is yeah i would agree with cliffy uh, definitely if you see something that has a really high ace requirement in terms of experience then people are doing well in it and the more yeah. people playing it with still having a high requirement means that it's probably a really good tank yeah so here's yeah. another thing for me that good good players unless they're specifically trying to three mark a bad tank generally and that's that's a that's an outlier or that's a exception generally good players play good tanks so yes. you can you yeah. can tell a good yeah. tank based on it's doing well and lots of people are playing it now, there are streamers, I'll just put in here, there are streamers who will only play the good tanks. I'm not saying who, but there are streamers who will play their preferred tanks and they're the good tanks and they yeah. will just play yeah. them. You know, or the mostly, or they'll have a high number of battles in those Yeah, tanks. yeah, That's, high number of battles know. in them, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, if you're lit, it doesn't matter what... The CVS is just part of the calculation on whether you get lit. So yes, if you're lit... You're lit, you're lit, and your sixth sense will trigger. Yeah, Stickler, that's probably more likely blind shots if you're going to know yeah, places. I, mean, I just got I got obliterated in the Malinovka bush yesterday. <clears throat> Jumped in that Malinovka bush, got a couple lights, got a little bit of damage. And the and I didn't notice, but the enemy team had a platoon of KPZ 07s. Oh and they they went up onto the into the bushes on the little side hill there. And then they yeah, all yeah. started firing into the bush. And I took a yeah, hit. But yeah. I'm like, yeah. okay, you got lucky. And then all of a sudden it's like, bah, 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 bah. I mean, it's just KPZ <laughs> shot. I'm like, oh, crap. I'm trying to get away. But I... <laughs> so the three of them, they were shooting in every possible spot of that bush. And yeah, it just... exactly. Yeah, we'll, we'll, whatever it is, we'll get him. <laughs> because they must have known. Somebody must have said, I've been lit, I've been lit, I've been lit. Because you get that as an automatic. You don't even need to see that. You, you see a guy yeah. sitting back. Behind those rocks, getting hit, you know there's a light tank there, or yeah, in the middle. There's a light tank somewhere. More than likely in no, that one yeah. bush. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What yeah, I, I just I just laughed and shrugged, and like, yeah. I, and that first hit, I should have tried to get away, but I think what I did actually back out, and then I got nailed right. directly. So I think one of their scouts was up in the bush. So as soon as I backed Probably out of the bush, he saw me. Yeah, because I was. The book, yeah, right? I was in the black dog, which doesn't have great camo anyway. No. So I could get to the bush without being spotted, but coming out of it. There was that wasn't happening. Give me yeah, a second. Yeah, see, Diablo just... likes the old rhino, so yeah, it's just it's confirmation bias, I think, with a lot of that, to be honest. Well, and that's kind of why I wanted to talk about this just a little bit because yes, for me, it's that's an, a yes and no answer. Individually, all that stuff's in play, but if you're objectively going to look at the stats and say. What is the best tank at tier currently? It's pretty obvious. It, let's let's narrow that down. Best tank in win rate at tier, which is kind of what I was yes. going for. Yeah, it's the, the yeah. numbers are the numbers. I don't. It doesn't matter yeah. who plays it or why they play it or when they play yeah. it or whatever. That that is currently the best tank for winning because it is winning the most. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. But that's why it's an interesting discussion because then you start to open it up. All right, well, best tank for that guy, best tank for an average player, best tank for a yeah, yeah. good player. Yeah. You know, you, you start talking about skill, uh, skill floors and skill ceilings. You know, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the hard to play yeah. tanks that have the highest skill ceiling generally have a high skill floor. So yeah. bad players playing it really, you know, hurt the the requirements and all that. And then you have that well, all that other now, crap, the MOE and the ACE yeah, requirements you, and everything I mean, else. You, here's a prime example, Guido. Here's a prime example. The skirt of the T fifty six, the one that you know everybody says is just an overpowered tank. Blah 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 blah. It is you know a beast of a tank, but I've only got a thirty seven percent win rate in it. I cannot make it work, you know. And I consider myself an average player, and but I can't. 
I cannot make that tank work for me. Well, I don't know what I'm doing wrong with it. So, yeah. you know, a 37% win rate in it. It's not doing me any favours, and I particularly don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, but, you know, it's there. It's top two, isn't it? The Krons are definitely annoying. Um, when they got their the change to the gun, when they went from four shells to three and, and were able to lower their, their uh, reload so much, the reload came in back into the regime of not being out of the fight too long there there is a i bet if you crunch the numbers there's probably a number in there somewhere per tier for autoloaders where a an autoloader changes from from not good to op and i bet it's a yeah. specific narrow band and if i was yeah. to guess it would be somewhere around 20 seconds yeah over 20 yeah. seconds because of the way the game is played and how long you're out of the fight yeah Somewhere, and I'm just spitballing. Somewhere around 20 seconds or more, that's that hurts an autoloader. Even if you get four shells, yeah, yeah. Uh, but that thing is now such that you can fire your three, and you're not really out of the fight that much. You can still no. hang out around the the front. Yeah. VZ55 yeah. is a great example. Oh, 100, absolutely. 100. percent It's well under the the point where it's really out of the fight. Um. There would have to be a lot of number crunching, and I, that's just a, the feeling I get. It's somewhere around that, but yeah, based on the way the game is played, somewhere around thirty seconds. You're out so long, it's very difficult to run auto loaders. And if the payoff is five or six shells, you can do some good work. But then yeah, you're talking thirty six, yeah. you know, thirty thirty six seconds. You're very vulnerable. But somewhere around twenty seconds, you're not nearly as vulnerable. It's hard to take a guy out in twenty seconds unless you have multiple guns on him. Well, so, I mean, it, so even if you yeah, push that, a Kron who just fired three times, yeah, you, if he's got his hit points, you may not shut him down before he gets his shells back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, you know, at the end of the day, it's shown the vulnerability of that particular type of tank to, to aggressive play because you, you know when they know because I, the number of times I've been in the Kron and um, I've pulled back because and, and the enemy team automatically know that you've 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 done you've shot your load. And you're now just a lump of metal waiting to be farmed, and they will push around the corner and take lumps out of you. you know, yeah, but if you have friends, just... if you have friends, if you got friends, you should. And then you're back in it so fast. That's why it's so good right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. If it was thirty yeah. or forty seconds, like it used to be, uh, you're you now now you're not a factor. But that you shoot three shells and 20, 20 or so seconds later, you're back into it. You got another three. Yeah, I yeah, mean, absolutely. You, Guys spend 10 seconds just trying to get a shot, and then they're like, well, shit, now the yeah. Kron's reloaded, so I definitely don't want to go around the corner with a reloaded <laughs> Kron. <clears throat> or he's getting yeah. close. Maybe I get you know tracked, and he reloads in five seconds and kills me off. Yeah, yeah. So, And then there, then there's the turret. Yep, then that's that's a whole other subject, the whole hold-down meta. You know, so many places on the, on the maps are set up for that kind of gameplay. Yeah, yeah. Or you can just go to that kind of place, and it's so hard to push. Yeah, it it's definitely a popular tank right now, that's for sure. Although, you know what? Let's go to the numbers. What are the numbers? Well, say? it's popular purely because of bat pass, is it not? <clears throat> that's probably part of it. Yeah, yeah, because it's one of the tanks, right? Yeah, that's true. So I don't know what it, how it's actually sitting here, in stats wise. I think it's near the top, but let's find out. How yeah, you have to play the right tier to see it. If you're playing tier threes like you always do, you'll never see the crown, will you? <laughs> oh, shots fired. <laughs> oh, dear. So, kind of interesting. It's down there a ways. Win eight. Problematic step. But let's go to win rate. Right below the VZ. But you know what? Overall, less than 50. For tech tree tanks, it looks to be pretty good. Second and tech. Let's get rid of the. Uh, let's get rid of the premiums, especially at tier ten. So it's two. It's two on win rate. Two on DPG. Third on frags. Second in damage ratio. Third in kill to death. Does not survive much. That makes a lot of sense. It's pretty far down there. Uh, and who cares about well, spots really? So yeah, it's it's pretty good. Looks like the VZ is outperforming it though. Although Which not, probably, to be honest, was expected, I guess. The VZ's DPG is significantly better, though. 
Right. Okay. You know, it's 200 and, and some change more than number two, and it's three just about 300 more than number three. So that's pretty far outlier right there. Frags is pretty close. Damage ratio, not as significant as DPG looks, but yeah. Is the VZ better? You see, this is, this is when you said you could blow this wide open. The VZ is better at stats because it's more current and it's played by better players. And the Cran is boring and sat behind a pile of rubble, don't want to play it. I mean, I don't. You know what I mean, is it, or is it, is it, you know, are we, are we saying that's the stats behind? Well, it? they're the two most played tanks. Right. I, okay. I think the Cran is definitely boosted by what you said because it's it's the battle pass battle tank. Passing. So that that's going to be a big. It's played. It's been played four hundred three thousand times in the last sixty days. That makes sense for battle pass. Yeah. The number two is the VZ though at two hundred thousand, two hundred one thousand. Then the oh. IS seven at one hundred seventy four. So we'd have you know we'd have to have numbers maybe say in four, a couple months when when those battle pass yeah. boosted yeah. numbers go away and see where it sits. Yeah. I bet it's near the top though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, artillery likes the MX fifty. Oh, nice. Yeah, that one's hard. Uh, yeah, run with the mediums, I guess. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did with the AMXs. Yeah, yeah, cool. All right, so there you go, stats. But I, I think I think right as to just to underline the whole thing, I think it it's good that you're putting those videos out because well, a it's a discussion point because everybody's got their own personal opinions on that particular subject, but b it just gives a nice rounded view on. What is uh, let's not call it the best tank at tier, but for me, the preferred tank at tier for me, yeah. I mean, I guess my, my parting shot on that is not necessarily Guido saying definitively this is the best tank. Period. Dot, it's just yeah, yeah. a starting point. But here's what the numbers yeah. show here's some interesting things that I think about it, and then go for it, you know, go from there. Yeah. I will say that what's really been cool about it is it has dispelled, it has started dispelling a lot of old kind of feelings and yes. data points yeah. that I thought I had. There's a yeah. couple of tanks in there that I was very surprised by that are yeah. that are doing pretty well. So yeah. it's always good to challenge your own uh, uh, sacred cows. Absolutely. You know, sometimes you just gotta go out in the field and kick some cat sacred cows around and see what's going on out there. <laughs> but don't be saying that to a Hindu. Rate the tanks like <laughs> a dog show. Trouble. So drive them around and look at their teeth. Yeah. Pick their tail yeah. up, so to speak. No. All right. <laughs> Day Z. Day Z. Day Z. Yes. Um, I, I haven't been a huge fan of the survival games, but I haven't dug into dug into them too much. It is sort of interesting and compelling. I'll, I'll tell you why. So the other day, I just went again to a random server. When I got in, it said it's going to have a server wipe in 45 minutes. So it's not like I was going to build a base and do a lot of stuff. But I went, okay, let's see if I can survive 45 minutes on this server. You know what I mean? So I start running around trying to survive. And I got to within five minutes. Uh, I actually had to leave because I had to go do something. So I didn't get to the 45. But I did get 40 and I was still alive. Although I was on my way out because everything was going red on me. And I was starting to get that hazy thing going yeah. on. I needed some food and I couldn't find any. I killed a couple zombies and whatever. Because I was, I was raging through buildings. Because I was trying to find stuff. I had to get into the buildings to get stuff. But of course zombies are around the buildings. And uh, I found a shotgun with one shell. Went out in the street. Looking for a zombie to kill, hoping they had some food on him. Uh, I missed the shot, so I had to use the baseball bat. That tore me up a little bit. But the point of that whole story is, it is sort of interesting because when I when I play video games, a lot of times it's the completionist thing. I want to get to the end. I want to get powerful. I want to get stuff. I want to collect things. I want to last a long time. This is these kind of games are a little bit more like. Let me see how long I can last, knowing that you're probably not going to make it. Yeah. So yeah. that's that's kind of interesting, actually. Yeah. Way it's, better than art of strategy. It's 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 quite limiting. In in so, right the 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 achievement the achievement. Uh, what 
I'm going to say now, the uh, endorphin, the, achieve, the achievement endorphin is creating an environment that is permissive for you and your character. So to do that, there's a number of ways you do it. To create a permissive environment, you either have to have protection, and that includes the best weapons you can find, you know, sufficient ammunition, building a base, or on the other hand, if you lone wolf it, the map knowledge and the ability to pre-guess other players and the AI zombies and all the rest of it. So the challenge for the endorphin to kick in can either be um, complete security, which there never is in Daisy. I mean, it's part of the game. You lose your loot, you die. Right. Um, or you low morph it to a point where you go, yeah, I've done this. And, and this is what I was saying to you about the server, the, the grumpy old Norwegian server we're on. Well, we've maxed it because we've completely stripped it bare. Yeah. And there's nothing more to do. So we're, as a clan, we're not interested in going back there. We'll go back, you and I, so we can get you some, some education. Well, so for a, new, for, survive. for a new player, since I just yeah. joined, it's one reason why I'd, I like to do some of this stuff on my own anyway is yes the i don't know anything about the maps i don't really know much about the game mechanics so right now it's kind of fun to stumble through with the no with the knowledge that you know they're probably going to get you any or they are going to get you anyway so who cares just start yeah. another character and, and try to figure yeah. out a way so then i'll, I'll start yeah. to build map knowledge and kind of understanding how the mechanics and stuff work but it's yeah. it's a little it's a little bit more uh i would say immersive when you're doing yeah. it that way, because you're like the lone survivor, yeah. right? Yeah, it was fun yeah, running yeah. around with you and getting a lot of weapons and doing stuff. But you know, as we're running around, you're like, "Don't shoot them! I'll take care of them." I'm like, well, shit, I don't want to just follow you around. I want to shoot stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, so I yeah. so I go on the other server and and try to learn how to do it. And it's really immersive trying to figure that stuff out. Now, that being said, there's some pretty funny uh, Daisy logic out there. There is. So some of my favorite things are um, all the doors that are that are bolted shut. I know. <laughs> <laughs> they do that to make the buildings look bigger, but to have to build less of the buildings. Yeah. But if you go into a building in DayZ, apparently, like, what's in there? Dead people? Did they? Are there zombies in there? Is that where people hid and then they die? There are, there are, yeah, there are some buildings you can actually look through the windows and you'll see piles of dead bodies. Ah. It's quite gruesome. There is some buildings you can actually so look that, through the windows. So, but apparently in that world everybody had the exact same bar and hammer the, you know screws or whatever because they're all the same door yeah. Uh, yeah all the containers are like that apart from like one or two and you think if, if one or two containers open why can't the others be open? yeah you can't open much of anything no uh every time i open a refrigerator there's almost never anything in it <laughs> uh what, what else are daisy logic that's a lot of the mechanics are pretty funny, you know, as we were discussing yeah. that. Yeah. You can get gas in a lighter, but you can't light a fire with it. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. You can't. you yeah, got to have bark and a yeah. stick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you got to have a stick and a rag. You got, and and rag. Gasoline doesn't burn. No. If you get a jerry can full of gasoline, if you tip it onto the fire, it doesn't do anything. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't go poof. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't do anything. Now, no. maybe, you know, maybe it's been 10 years since the zombie apocalypse started. And all the all the uh, gases inert that were in cans. I don't know. Maybe that's possible. Um, you can't drink it though. <laughs> which makes me which makes me wonder every time I start the game, like how the hell did I get here? Yeah, yeah. Is yeah exactly. If you're a survivor, how did you survive? Because this yes, when, yeah, exactly. And why and why do I suck so bad now? How did I survive to this point? And now I am a, in a coma for ten years. Yeah. Woke up and went shit. And now I am an absolutely bumbling moron. And where's my gear? I survived with yeah. a bandage, an yeah. apple, and whatever else I have, and a glow yeah. stick. And a glow glow stick. stick. Yeah. Somehow I have I have survived the apocalypse with these three things. And then all of a sudden I can't do it anymore. <laughs> because everything looks like it's been destroyed for a while. Doesn't it just? It doesn't. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, yeah. Nothing. Nothing. It just looks very Soviet era, doesn't it? No, I'm reading but, way um, too much into it. Obviously, it's a port. Uh, it's a. It's a mod from another game, and blah blah blah. It's a cool game, but it's funny. It's funny when you think about stuff like that. How yeah, did? Yeah. How did I get here, and why do I suck so bad now? Yeah. I, apparently, I'm a survivor, but. <laughs> yeah. 
the I mean, coming back to what we're going to hopefully do, you know, you were talking about the learning curve is part of the game, and it's actually better to do the learning curve because then you get a you know a better knowledge of the game. This is what we're going to do, you and I, if we go back into the grumpy old Norwegian, because um, the base is still there. I'm not worried about that tented base. Are they going to restart we, that server? Or are they going to start a different map? Well, they're not going to wipe it. Um, the guys, the clan have gone to a different server, but I'll give you the details later on. Oh, so um, the clan is not the guy who owns the server. That's Those are different No, guys. no, no. He's, Spad's still there. He's yeah. um, the guy who owns the, the server is still there. And we're still in contact with him, but I've just said to him, look, we're not going to play it that much. What I'm going to do is bring my friend through, i.e. you, and we're, um, he's currently got fuck fight. So we, we need to get him to slot himself, and then we'll start afresh, both of us. Right, right. And we'll learn together. I think that's the best way. I'll just follow you. Yeah. If I think there's going to be something you're going to do that is imminently dangerous, I'm, I'll just go, <laughs> <coughs> maybe not. <laughs> oh, I am going to do something dangerous. Yeah, you are. You um, definitely are. <clears throat> But that's up to zombies and poke them. That's part of why I'm talking it's about because it's a it's a game that you don't necessarily care that much about. I mean, you you no. could build up to the base like you have. And you don't want to just let all that stuff get destroyed because you have other goals. Well, it's part you, of you the could... game. To be honest, it's part of the game. You have to accept that it's Daisy. I mean, I've built yeah. bases and had them raided by <laughs> French people, which really pissed me off. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> you can hear them talking behind the wall. Give us the. the... Go, they go, oh, see, I don't know how give I us the know. give us the frog legs or else. Yeah. And I shout out in English, speak English, you froggy baskets. And they're like, then the next thing you hear is them trying to hammer me walls down. So I just lob a grenade over and kill them. Yeah. Them. <laughs> You're like, anyway. if you come in here, I'm going to pour gas all over and light you on fire. And like, nope, that doesn't work. You're not going to do that. <laughs> pour burning oil on you, French Dang people. It. <laughs> Oh dear, we already have one. <laughs> Pale Jedi, we ran into a pack of wolves, and I actually was able to get a few shots off. I was a little nervous though, because apparently on that server, if you TK somebody, you you're, you go up before a tribunal of some kind. Yeah, you get yeah, you get home before a tribunal. <laughs> you wear the scarlet letter or something. But Pilgrim was running around like a madman. I was trying not to shoot him, and then we got a point where there was a wolf between us, and I was a little yeah. worried I was going to shoot him, but I was able to kill the wolf and not Pilgrim, which was good. It is good. Yeah, yeah. I'll take that. What's the, what's the running man's? Is that a YouTube channel or something? The Just Survive game I was on had so many Chinese hackers on. Oh, geez, yeah. Well, I, I don't know if I... Did I talk about this last week? When uh, Did I talk about the guy? I was playing another rando server, just messing around. And walking, going into some... It wasn't buildings. It was one... It looked like a, it had been an outdoor bazaar or whatever. So I'm kind of... Right. I'm kind of rustling about in there. And I hear some footsteps. And I turn around and there's somebody talking. that got the end game thing. He's like, hey, yeah. hey, hey, hey. And I turn around. And I didn't even know how to talk, on, so I, I didn't say anything. I just turned around. And uh, he's got a baseball bat. And he walks up. He's like, hey, hey, what, you know, friendly, friendly. And then he whacks me with the baseball bat. So I just turn around and run. <laughs> and the guy's like, guy's like, oh, sorry, that was a mistake. Come back. I'm like, there is no way I'm coming back. No. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah. All right, I'll come back then. You can hit me again if you like. <laughs> fool me once. Fool me once. Yeah. Shame on you. Yeah. Fool me twice. Yeah. Shame on you. I'm not giving you the second chance. He eventually yeah. stopped chasing me because you lose energy doing that. Running's too yeah, much. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So at some point, it's not worth him chasing me anymore. And I didn't have anything, and he had gear, so I was faster. So I'm out of there. Yeah. yeah. Now, I, I died. Well, that's the whole point. If, if, you're, if you're just spawned or you're very early in your spawn, your stamina is so much longer. Yeah. So if somebody's trying to run after you and they've got a large pack on and all the rest of it, they're never going to catch you. So you're like, yeah, go on, do it. No, the good news is he didn't have a firearm, so I was able to outrun the bat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah or if he yeah. did, he didn't use it on me, which, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Pale Jedi, send it to... Um, here, let me... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do... Let me make you... I'll make you a mod, dude, because... There you go. Now put your, uh, put your link in there. Um. Yeah. So Daisy, interesting. I've enjoyed it. Uh, I played a little Elden Ring. I did. I just didn't. I may go back to oh, it. I, it's I, really high Elden Ring. Nah, isn't I spent it? all that Even money if you on it. Look on the gaming platforms. It's all about Elden Ring at the moment. Well, I got really, I got really pissed off because the the PC controls for Elden Ring are a disaster. Yes. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. An yeah. absolute disaster. Yeah. And I don't think they've done anything to fix them, and I I wouldn't doubt if they didn't do anything to fix them. So I don't know if I'll ever go back. I spent a lot of money on that but game. But that's, that's true of. That's true of any console game that comes across as well. Is yeah. it, If it's designed for the console controller, trying to get it onto a keyboard is a nightmare. But generally, right? the developers put a little more effort in it than these guys did, because it's atrocious. It's not just bad. It's it's almost looks yeah. like it's per perfect or purposely bad. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, Clippy's saying it's uh, it's also a lack of comp. Content. I know. You so know, I made a mistake. Yeah. I, I sort of I'll tell you I'll, I'll be one hundred percent honest with you. As, as we go and World Tanks gets older, I'm sort I'm casting about for you know maybe another game or other stuff to do. And I want to do some other things if people are interested in it. I mean, I'm going to stick with you know World of Tanks is the bread and butter. But you know you get bored and you want to move around and check stuff out so this one I, I kind of thought well maybe I'll get on the hype train if I like it maybe I'll start doing some you know Elden Ring content maybe I'll be in at the the early part of it and do the old guy perspective and all that stuff and I played it a little bit and I went and now yeah. you know what yeah. Cliffy said it's sort of dying so that's the risk you take with some of these hyped games that come out if you yeah. try to try to jump if they don't yeah, turn yeah, out to yeah. be good or they disappear flash in the pan which is why World of Tanks is kind of amazing and and very unusual in the in the video game regime you know it just has that thing that keeps people playing it yeah and I, I, I know a lot of people will disagree but I do think it's the complexity of it the learning complexity if you are of a mindset that you want to play a game that really stretches your mind World of Tanks stretches your mind because you've got to go through all the complexities to understand all the different nuances of the tanks. A lot of games you can just run out there and do first person shooter all day long without even thinking about it. But it, you need to think to play World of Tanks. And it's PvP. That's the difference. Yeah. I mean, fighting AI stuff, and it's PvP that isn't so uh, frantic. Yeah. Talked about it a million knee, times. Knee jerk, knee jerk also <laughs> makes a good point. Daisy, if it's PvP, is exactly that as well because you're pitting yourself against people all right so i mean you know so yeah. some people will hack cheat and some people will have ten thousand hours in in the game but that's the nature of the game yeah you know so well i'm, I'm at get, that early point where i don't care eventually i will right i'll yeah. start to get better yeah. and, and i'll be able to, to survive longer yeah. and i'll start gathering gear and then if yeah. i run into something like that and i get ganked you know that'll suck but right now it doesn't suck because i don't care no, if I, I die you don't care you and know? the other thing is about daisy is that the Again, when I talk about the achievement endorphins, it's not attached to your stats. You can die 50 times a night. It's not going to affect how good a player you are. Whereas with World of Tanks, everybody goes on about their stats, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Right, right. So with with DayZ, you can just respawn, try again. Learn your lesson. Learn how to do the, the, the you know. And I'd say the endorphin, achievement endorphins come either from creating a secure environment which is permissive to you or you know you lone wolf I've, I've loaned wolf now on the other server that i'm on for about a year and a year and a half notwithstanding wipes so when it gets wiped you start again but right. it's still a lone wolf one yeah so i quite enjoy that i quite enjoy the challenge of being able to stay alive and the more they're bringing into it they're bringing things like uh nbc areas hi my name's so the running to find a gas mask and, and all that sort of kit to be able to try to traverse through them Right. So, it, you know, they're keeping yeah. it fresh. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So it's a different kind of, of interesting. So it, and the one reason I want to bring it up is it, it, it's the only game recently, you know, I got uh, Age of Empires or whatever it was. Okay, it was okay, yeah. but whatever. Yeah. And then I, I tried uh, Elden Ring. Nah. Yeah. I even tried the old Fallout, which I did a video on. It sort of, I put that down. I haven't seen that since. I'm st I still play some DCS, but this is the first one I went, ooh. I kind of want to sit down and play a little bit of that and check it out some more. Sure. So it's been yeah. a long time since I've, I've run into that, which is cool. Cool. Yeah. So definitely, definitely enjoying that. Well, we'll we'll sort that out when you come back onto the grumpy old Norwegian server because we'll get you. You can either kill yourself one of two ways. You can use an implement in your hand. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna keep the same. We can leap off a tall building. I'm just gonna just keep the same character. Let's just go. Who cares? No, you can't run around with the frozen hands. <laughs> How are you gonna pick your nose and everything when you've got frozen hands? You know what I mean? You All right, you got a competition. I think it's a good one. <laughs> I don't want to talk about my frozen hands. <laughs> it's embarrassing. My, my, your hands are cold. <laughs> yeah.
Well, they'd be quite good for fighting because they'd be solid, wouldn't they? They'd be yeah. not spitting solid. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was just bummed when I fought somebody with a plum in my hand. I didn't realize it was there, realize it was there and I ruined it. <laughs> you couldn't even, food, yeah. I couldn't even eat it. So the next, now when I log in, I just eat whatever the food is I have immediately. Absolutely, that's the way to survive. Yep. Keep eating, I just eat it, eating, and drinking, and moving. <laughs> that's well. That, can we talk about that real quick? Why is it that's a it's a weird world in Daisy? I'm hungry like every three minutes. I know, yeah. <laughs> that's the point of starvation. Yeah, you know? I go from zero starving to starving in twenty minutes. I'm like, how? Why am I dying? Good lord, I yeah. eat a lot of food. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, go with the competition. Oh, competition, yes, yeah, sorry. Rim, hey, rim this world. this right. week, guys and girls, this week, it's all about the panther tank. Now, it's um, again, I need all three answers. It's for 500 gold. We're back to the 500 gold now because you've had all your Christmas Easter and all that sort of stuff. Christmas Easter, what's that all about? Anyway, so it's for 500 gold, and it's all about the panther tank. So get your wiki fingers going. Get Panther already into Wiki, so you'll have the answers to hand. I need all three answers together in a one. You can't give me one and then one later and then one later, so you've got to do your research, get it all together, and throw it in there as a three line answer. All right? So have, you, have you ever, have you ever in the history of this contest upheld that rule? Yeah, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Off I we say go. It every week. Off we go. You Stop do say that. it every week, and then everyone ignores it. I know. <laughs> all right. I think what you mean is you can't go part, part, part. It all has to be in yeah, one yeah, line. I want, I want one. The correct, the correct really answer, really. answer has to be in one line. Right. Yeah, I can't you, because that's the, for me. That's not the right. No, answer I'm with you. I'm with you. you. But it sounds it. like what you're saying is, like, if you make a if you make a wrong attempt, you're out of the pool. Yeah, until, until you put the right attempt in. Oh, so you can multiple... Okay, I'm with you. Oh, yeah, yeah, but you can do it as many times as All you right. like. But but I, what I don't want is answer to, answer one, three lines later, answer two. So this is your wiki okay. fingers. Get, go okay. get all three answers together, fire it off in a one sentence. Does that make sense? Yes. Good. Shuffle yeah. that. No. Right on up there. That's cool. <laughs> Nipples, biscuits, and scones. <laughs> Very close, oh, Bruce Bass. Very close. Wayne, you're close as well. But we'll go with the panther questions, okay, which was a tank. It was a tank in the Second World War made by the Germans. However, other than Germany, who else built the panther tanks? So mm. I'll leave it with you, that one. That's the first part of the question. Second part of the question. Aliens. How, <laughs> how, <laughs> how much fuel is a full tank of fuel in a panther? Either in gallons or litres, I'll take it either way, European or, or uh, NA and UK. Five gallons. All right. Okay. For, uh, behave. Hmm. Third part of the question, when was the Panther tank first used in combat? 1911. Right. Close. Charge of the Light Brigade. <laughs> you got the 19 right. <laughs> so, just to reiterate, just to repeat, which country other than Germany built the Panther? How how much fuel is a full tank of fuel for the Panther in gallons or litres? And when was it first used in combat? The month, the year, and the location. Aliens, five gallons in 1911. Very close, Wayne. <laughs> okay, we did 100% in the daytime. Yeah. <laughs> it has no daisy relevance, this, by the way. Rome. Yes, Guido, Rome. <laughs> did they have litres back then? I think so. <laughs> Battle of Hastings. Uh, no knee jerk, but a good try. Gator's close. Let me just have a look at Gator's answer. Mm, Do you need the month, though, right? Did you want the month? The month, the, month, the year, and the location. Month, the year, location. He's first used. Month, year, first location. used in combat. Knee jerk. Mm. You're sort of around there, but you're not quite there. I told you they'd struggle with this one, Guido, didn't I, Lil? Huh? Huh? I'll give you a hint. That's where it was, the little bighorn. <laughs> General Costa had one. Custer had one. It broke down. That's why I lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you ran out of fuel. Because they couldn't... They... Oh. Knee oh. jerk. And no. Close. I will tell you that the peop the Wiki. country that built it is 
is very interesting. It is very as interesting. Has a, a cool story to it, actually. Uh, Daimler Bench designed the pan and uh, Panzer three and the Stug three and the yes, but that's not the answer to the question. Oh, hang on. Panzer three. Panzer. Th you've got you got one of three. You got one of three six pack. Panzer daddy. three is not a Panther. No, it's not. That's another tank. We're talking Panther. Is Panther. A Panzer six, right? Yeah, it was a, it was it was originally designated V for five, but it was changed by Hitler to something else. Well, I think the Tiger tank is the Panzer five. Yeah, yeah. So the Hitler said you can't have the V because it's a different tank. Um, there's there's only one right answer so far, and Six Pack Daddy has had it, or one of the three right answers. Six Pack Daddy got one of those. You did right. get one of them, yep. Yeah. yeah. We sort of already told you which ones are wrong, so you already you should know which ones are right. Yeah. Seven hundred thirty yeah. years. Right. Okay. Oh, now well, Belisarius has one of them right. He has, in fact, he has two of them right, doesn't he? Oh, oh, oh no, yeah. no, no, yeah, no, no. He has one. He has one of them right. Yeah, I don't know what the math is on that. Yeah, yeah, one of them right. Close. And the other one is very close. Can you? I wonder if you could Google who. Get your wiki fingers out, guys. It's Pilgrim's Wikipedia page. Look for Pilgrim's Wikipedia page. That'll help. It's only for 500 gold. We are really sure. Oh, yeah. Left shoe, you've got one out of three. <laughs> no, I need you. Left shoe's got one out of three. Belifius, Belif you've got one out of three. You should be able to work it out, guys, just by the one out of threes. <laughs> yeah, but the, two the, of the answers. The hard one hasn't been touched on yet, though. Yeah, the hard one. The no, nobody's got anywhere near it. I think I've if it doesn't go today, it'll roll over to a thousand gold next next week. So I won't give you the answers. Well, I will give you answers. I'll put a new competition up for next week for a thousand gold. <coughs> It's on Pilgrim's Wiki. I think I played still RS actually. I wonder if I have that still. Oh, brute! Yeah, catch. See you later, mate. See you, man. I do like the four buys. Those are pretty cool. I don't know if I played still RS. I've played a bunch of them though. It's been a while since I messed with them, but yeah, the space exploration ones are cool. All right. I think I think we have to draw a line under it. Six fat daddy. Again, you got one out of one out of three. I think yeah. should we do the answers and then I'll roll the five hundred over to the uh, to next to next week. Yeah. The, oh, thousand. so we stumped them, man. We stumped them. So the answer on who built it. So we'll give away a thousand next week. The answer on who built it's pretty cool. Yeah, the United Kingdom built nine of them. We built nine of them in 1945-1946 at the end of the war to test them out to see if they were worth having. So the UK built nine panther tanks the fuel tank full is 190 gallons some of you got that right or 720 liters some of you got that right or wrong and then it was first used in combat at kursk in july of 1943 it was slightly later than uh the tigers the tigers came in first there's a july. link yeah although i don't know does it work or did it cut off stuff we don't need yeah it cut off so there's a Can't link roll over. to the uh, British Tank Museum. The, their Panther is one that they that was built by the British. By the Brits, yeah. yeah. So they took a bunch of uh, parts and half-built ones, and they were able to put what nine together. Yeah, yeah, they put nine together because um, because don't forget when when we, we took <laughs> over Germany, you got you you uh, knee knew the answers. You got uh, you got the holiday section of Germany, and we got the industrial section of Germany. <laughs> Yeah, you did. So we went you? skiing. We yeah, went skiing and drank wine yeah. and yeah. went to the beer the fest. Area. And you guys, you guys <laughs> built Panther tanks for some yeah, of the reason. We got coal, dour women, and the port of Hamburg full of sailors who had nothing better to do. So really, it was a slice of England on the continent. Oh well, yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cliffy. 
Uh, oh, I'm sorry. My, my stream's delayed. Did I? <laughs> oh, man. Yep, yep. They had a lot of breakdowns. Well, that was the early versions, too. They got better. I like anything as, as you don't design. Early designs often have problems. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Cool. It was well. Stream ended an hour ago. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're actually zombies from Day Z just talking. Yeah, we're doing Day Z yeah. right now. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for coming by. Much appreciated. We've been at this for a little over two hours, so we're gonna we're gonna call an end to it. Much appreciated. Thanks for coming by. We got a bunch of follows, bunch of bits. Got a hype train. A couple guys, a uh, couple guys uh, sent gift subs. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. That's all I've got from the left side of the Atlantic. And it's Pilgrim signing off from the crack side of Atlantic. We'll see you guys Monday.